And we welcome you back to the First National Bank pregame show here at Raider Gym, brought to you by First National Bank, where they put you first always. We appreciate our great friends at First National Bank sponsoring the pregame show. Before tonight's opening contest, it is the ladies' match, the girls' game between your Nettleton Lady Raiders and the Lady Patriots of Marion. The starting lineups are being announced as we speak. Starting for Nettleton is going to be Carmen McShan, Akira James, Kyla Williams getting the start. Donna Douglas and Mackenzie Williams. I think I might have given out the wrong starters previously. I beg your pardon for that. And the starters for Marion, number one, Naisha Jackson, number two, Valencia Selby, number three, Kiera Neal, 15, Aliyah Taylor. And it looks like number 12 is getting the start, Aya Johnson. So that is, and number 20, Elise Holliman. Um, strong team, Marion. Don't let the record fool you. That's what Coach Hawkins shared with me. They're 3 and 11 on the year, but Coach Hawkins says that their non conference and tournament schedule has been brutal. Uh, they are 0 and 1 in conference. They have a loss to West Memphis. And so Nettleton looking to move to 2 and 0 on the season. Marion looking to pull even 1 and 1. They would love to come in here and steal a win on our floor. And, we're just about to see if they can do that. Donna Douglas tips for Nettleton. Marion controls the tip, and the Lady Patriots will have the ball first. Jackson, the point guard, standing at the jump circle, passes to the left, gets it left wing. Thought about taking a shot, but did not. It's a turnover, it's a steal. Here comes Carmen McShan. Carmen McShan with the layup, it's good. And the Raiders take a two to nothing lead on a steal and a Layup by Carmen McShan. Patriots back to work. Jackson, the 5'4 junior point guard, standing on the oval end. Nettleton logo. Akira James comes and picks her up. Out in there, working the ball around the outer perimeter. Right wing, three-point attempt is no good. The battle for the rebound, Marion has it. Kick it back out top to Jackson. Jackson over toward the right elbow. And it's a steal. Akira James with the steal, and she is fouled over on the far sideline. That's going to be number 15, Aaliyah Taylor. First team foul of the game, and first personal for Taylor. Kyla Williams to inbound to Akira James. Akira James quickly across half court, passes to Carmen McShan left side. They get it into the juice, kicks it back out to Kyla Williams. Kyla. Passes it to Carmen, to the juice, back to Kyla. Kyla backs it out to the logo. They get it inside to Donna Douglas. Donna misses the layup. Battle for the rebound, Marion has it. Actually, loose ball. Good job by Carmen McShan. It comes, Nettleton has it. They get it to Donna Douglas, comes up with it, and she throws it away. Marion with the ball, Jackson driving. Jackson misses the layup. Donna Douglas grabs the rebound. Here come the Lady Raiders. Akira James passes to the juice underneath. The juice misses the layup. Didn't matter as she is fouled. They said that she didn't get the shot off anyway, but the juice, Mackenzie Williams, actually was not on the shot. It is, uh, they get the ball in. Donna Douglas misses the shot right under the goal, misses another shot, and this time there's a foul on the shot. Donna Douglas will be going to the line and she will be shooting two. That foul was charged to Elise Holliman. First personal, second team foul. Should be the third team foul now. We'll get that straightened out here in just a second. As Donna Douglas sinks her first free throw. That makes the score three to nothing. Nettleton three, Marion zero. Douglas' second free throw is no good, but the juice gets the offensive rebound for Nettleton. Carmen McShan with a nifty layup. Four points on the night for McShan. Nettleton out to a five to nothing lead here in the early part of the first quarter. Running desperation layup for the Lady Patriots is no good. Nettleton gets the rebound. Here come the Lady Raiders. Akira James is whistled for the carry. And that's going to be a turnover, and it's going to be Marion's ball. Marion to inbound. They'll be driving the length of the court. Over on the right wing now, 
top of the key to Jackson, Nyasia Jackson, their point guard, over on the right wing. Inside to the post, they get it to number 12, off of her hands, off of Aya Johnson's hands, and out of bounds. That'll be a turnover, and Nettleton will inbound. Nettleton has a five to nothing lead. Nettleton five, Marion zero. 5.36 to play here in the first quarter. And this first of a double hitter, 5A East Conference matchup, Nettleton and Marion. Carmen McShann with the ball, passes to the Juice. The Juice misses the running layup, and Marion gets the rebound. Aya Johnson with the rebound for Marion, and they're quickly up the court, set their offense. Their point guard, Jackson, from the jump circle, passes to Alea Taylor. Baseline drive by Johnson. They kick it back out to Jackson. The three-pointer is good. Nyasia Jackson makes it a five to three game. Nettleton with a two point lead. Nettleton five, Marion three. That's our score with 4.51 remaining in the first quarter. Nettleton with the ball. Carmen McShan to Akira James. Akira James from three. It's no good. Battle for the rebound, Marion has it. Heck of an effort there by McShan, but the Lady Patriots come up with it, and here comes Marion. Fast break, and they're gonna call the Juice for a foul. Mackenzie Williams, her first personal, first team foul. And that'll put Johnson, Aya Johnson at the line for Marion. She makes her first of two free throws, and that makes the score Nettleton five, Marion four. Johnson's second free throw on the way. It's no good. Donna Douglas gets the rebound. Five to four the score. Nettleton with a one-point lead as Akira James walks it across the half-court line. Dribbling to the left, hands it off to Carmen McShann. McShann's driving the paint, kicks it back out to Kyla Williams. Williams from three, it's no good. The rebound goes to the juice. Mackenzie Williams back to Akira James. Akira James near the jump circle now, all the way back out. Dribbles to her left with her left hand. Passes to Donna Douglas. Donna tries to feed the juice underneath. Pass was a little bit strong, a little bit long, and it went out of bounds. And it's going to be Marion Ball. 3.55 to play in the first quarter. Nettleton five, Marion four. Lady Patriots across the timeline. Lady Patriots with the ball. 3.45 on the game clock, 25 seconds on that shot clock, which is new this year in 5A East basketball. Lady Patriots driving the paint. Good defense by Mackenzie Williams and Donna Douglas, the Lady Raiders twin towers. Nettleton's got the ball. Here comes Akira James, baseline drive, passes to Kyla Williams, and Kyla Williams cleans it up off the glass. Nice assist there by Akira James, and good shot underneath by Kyla Williams. Makes the score seven to four. Nettleton with a three-point lead with 3-12 remaining in the first quarter. Marion with the ball at the top of the key, dribbling to the right, and that's gonna be a five-second call. Good defense by Akira James, as she forced the correction. That's a foul, Leah Taylor with the offensive foul. Second personal foul, team foul number four. Akira James with the ball, dribbling to the left, driving, shooting, misses, and Johnson gets the rebound for Marion. Here come the Lady Patriots, boy, they're quick. Three-point attempt is no good off the front of the rim. Nettleton gets the rebound. That's the juice. Mackenzie Williams with the board for the Lady Raiders. She gets it to Akira James. Akira James on the beautiful Oval End logo. Picks up her dribble. Passes to Carmen McShan. Carmen McShan driving left wing. Loses the handle on the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds as she was trying to drive. Marion Ball. 2.30, excuse me, 2.28 to play in the first quarter. Your score is Nettleton seven, Marion four. Marion inbounds, Nettleton with a little bit of full court pressure. Aubrey Butler into the game and now she backpedals as Jackson dribbles across the timeline at about the six second mark. Passes over on the left wing. Johnson to drive, loose ball, battle for it. 
Marion has it, they kick it back out to number three. Back out to Johnson, over on the right wing. Now the Lady, the lady Patriots drive, miss a layup, battle for the rebound, it goes to Marion, and a nice play there by Elise Holliman. She got the rebound and she sunk the basket off the glass, right underneath, makes the score seven to six. Nettleton seven, Marion six, 139 to play in the first quarter. Akira James, left wing, drive, shoots, scores. Nice shot by Akira James. Nothing but net, didn't even have to use the backboard. Nettleton, nine to six. Marion promptly answers and they score on a running layup. By, I believe that is number three, Jacob. Yes, sir, yeah, number three. Kiara Neal makes the score nine to eight with 122 remaining in the first quarter. We're gonna keep it right here. A timeout is on the floor. I didn't see if it was Nettleton or Marion that, that took it, but. I believe we did. Mary, uh, Nettleton took it. Man, wild and woolly action here at Raider Gym. Sure glad to have you along for the ride. And Jacob, the uh, Lady Raiders gonna be in for a battle tonight, obviously, with this Marion team. They look pretty tough. They sure are. A very two fast-paced teams coming at each other. It's gonna be a good game of cutthroat basketball. Clock strike zero on the timeout and into the game for Nettleton is Kiki Brown. Kiara Brown, AKA Kiki, inbounds the ball, passes to Akira James. Akira across half court. Akira dribbling toward the left, left wing. Working off a screen, drives, kicks it back out to Kiki. Now to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey Butler to the juice, over to Akira, Akira James. Akira drives, shoots. Her shot is blocked out of bounds. So Nettleton will inbound underneath their own goal. I believe that's Makayla Hill to inbound. Makayla gets it to Kiki. Kiki up top to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey trying to get it inside to the juice, throws it away. That's a turnover, and it's going to be Marion Ball. Lady Patriots will inbound right in front of the Nettleton cheerleaders and Nates team who are leading the black hole in cheers. Here come the Lady Patriots. Jackson drives the lane, shoots, misses, but she's whistled for the charge. That's going to be an offensive foul. You see who picked that up, Jacob? Let's give them a shout out. Kiki Brown drew the charge. Kiki Brown, good job. Kiki Brown picking up that charge. Offensive foul charge against Niasia Jackson. That is the fifth personal, fifth team foul against Marion. First for Jackson. Lady Raiders right back to work. Aubrey Butler passes to Mackenzie Williams. Back up top to Akira James. Akira driving with her left hand. She's driving the paint. She shoots and she scores. Driving layup by the Raiders senior. Akira James gives Nettleton an 11 to eight lead with 18 seconds on the clock. Marion quickly up the floor and they're gonna be holding it for the last shot here in the first quarter. 11 to eight, the score. They get it inside, the shot is no good. Battle for the rebound, Kiara Brown battling for Nettleton. And- it's Gonna be Nettleton ball. Gonna be Nettleton ball, I believe. They, did they call a jump ball actually? They called the jump ball. So good job there by Kiki, getting her nose in there, battling for that rebound. Five seconds on the clock, Nettleton has it in. They're gonna take a last second shot. They do, oh, Akira James just barely missed a three-pointer, a long range three-pointer, NBA three-pointer at the buzzer. It, at the quarter, your score, at the end of the first quarter, it's Nettleton 11, Marion eight, back in 60 seconds was the second quarter, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership. Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make, every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Cavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to CavanaughCars.com. 
For more than 40 years, one of the best teams anywhere has been the one at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. They're experts at getting you back in the game. If you have an athlete in your life dealing with elbow, knee, or ankle pain, or maybe you've got a nagging injury, keeping you away from the activities you love most, go see the doctors at JOSM. Call 932-1820. Visit their Facebook page and at jonesboroortho.com. Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, excelling in our field so you can excel on on yours. We're back in action here in the second quarter. Nettleton up 11 to 8 at the outset of the second quarter. Here to bring the action to you, Nettleton Jr., Jacob Linderman. Number one for Marion with the ball. Gets it inside. I believe to number three. That's Karen Neal. She makes the layup. Makes it 11 to 10 with 7.30 remaining in the second quarter. Kyra James brings down the ball. Stands on the oval end. Sets up the play, gets it to Kyle Williams. Kyle gets the screen from Donna Douglas, feeds the juice just a little over ahead. That one went out of bounds. It's gonna be Marion Ball. Inbounded to Kira O'Neill. She's gonna bring it up the court. Gets it to number 20, and it's stolen by the juice. She gets it to McShann. McShann's gonna run the court. McShann. They call it jump ball. It's going to be Raider ball off the jump on what could have been a foul. Yeah, I know Coach Hawkins was really hoping for the foul there as, as uh, Carmen McShan. Boy, she forced the issue. She was going coast to coast. And she's a little slow getting up over there, still on the ground. And let's hope Carmen's okay. And here, here comes the trainer, Nick. And, and Carmen McShann slow to get up, and Jacob, that is not good news for Raider Nation. It looks like she is uh, pointing to her right ankle, perhaps, right lower leg. Nick is down there working on her, and let's hope this is a cramp. That would be the best news for us at this point. As Carmen McShann, you, you're right, man. She was, she was driving for the layup, and she bowled her way through. The referee called a jump ball. They said the defender, I guess, put hands on the ball, and her father, Ken Warren McShann, down on the floor checking on her. And let's hope we have some good news here real soon from Carmen. Help me out, Jacob. It looks like she's uh, she's got an ankle brace on that right ankle. I and think he's working on her knee. Her, her leg is straight, and he's on that left knee right now. Well, I was close. I said right ankle. Turned out it's her left knee. That's about as wrong as you can be. There we go, Carmen McShann is up and she is walking under her own power, but whew, she's uh, obviously favoring that left knee. What? Tough young lady right there for sure. And let's hope that Carmen is all right as she is the, she is the piston in the engine that makes this offensive machine run. Linderman with the ball on the wing, feeds the juice inside to Donna Douglas. Back to Linderman to Kyla Williams. Kyla looks like she's trying to set up the offense, gets a double team, finds Allison Linderman. Linderman gets the ball tipped, trying to find a Kyra James, and they call a defensive foul on number two, Selvi. Yeah, Marion's starting to do a lot of trapping there on their on their defense and we have not really responded real well to it right uh, so far. No sir, we haven't. The trap is hard to beat in basketball. It's like Admiral Akbar said, it's a trap. Kyle so Williams the inbound for the Raiders. Gets it to Kyra James. A Kyra James is gonna walk to the oval end. Sets up a play, feeds Kyle Williams on the wing. Gets a screen from Donna Douglas, and they call a moving screen on Donna Douglas. Looks like she got there a little too late. Her feet wasn't set when she made contact, and that'll call that. That'll make the call. Jackson gets it cross court and finds Aya Johnson. Johnson's mid range is no good. Rebounded by Marion. O'Neill with the drive. She's blocked by Donna Douglas, and it's out of bound on Marion. Last touch by Elise Holloman. 6.42 remaining in the second quarter. You score Nettleton 11, Marion 10. Defense. 
James bringing the ball up the court. Looks for the play. Gets it to Hill on the wing. Hill gets it to Juice at the top of the key. Finds Kyle Williams on the left wing. Back to Kyra James. Kyra to Makala Hill. Inside to Donna Douglas. Off Donna Douglas, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, good idea. I like that idea of getting it to Donna, but sometimes that handle on the basketball is kind of hard to find. It sure is. Inside to Aya Johnson. Very fast Marion Patriot team. O'Neal with it on the wing. Back to the point guard, Jackson. Standing on the beautiful oval end of Nettleton Raider Gym. Back to O'Neal. Gets it back to Jackson. To Selby. Selby drives her layup is no good. Rebound of mine with Kyla Hill and the Raiders are gonna take the ball. Kyra James drives down the court. Makes a move, gets it to the corner. To Kyle Williams on top of the key. Kyla, jumper, it's no good. Rebounded by Kyla Williams. She finds Makala Hill to Akira James. Akira drives. Her shot's no good. Rebounded by Marion. They get it up the court fast. They get it to Selby on the, in the corner. Back to Jackson, to Holloman. Holloman makes a move, and she's fouled. 4.56 remaining in the second quarter. 11 to 10, Raiders with the lead. The foul was charged to number 33, Mackenzie Williams, and Holloman's gonna be going to the line for two. That's Mackenzie's second personal foul, third team foul against the Raiders. Gotta keep Mackenzie out of foul trouble. The juice is very important to our game plan. Holloman sinks the first one, makes it 11 all with 4.56 remaining. Holloman, second shot's up. It's no good. It's rebounded by Kira Neal. They get it to Jackson. Jackson on the wing gets it to Selby at the top of the key to Neal at the other wing. Gets it to the corner. Holloman at top the free throw line. Back to Neal, back to Jackson. Neal standing on the, the Raider lettering. Gets it inside to Selby. Tries to make a post move, gets it to Aya Johnson. Johnson gets it to Holloman, back to Jackson. Five seconds on the shot clock. Shot clock goes off, actually gets her shot up. They count it. Makes it 11 to 13 with 4.15 remaining. Marion takes their first lead of the ball game as Nia Asia Jackson with a nice running shot at the buzzer of the uh, shot clock. And Asia Jackson with the steal on Kyle Williams. She's going to drive, gets it to Selby. Selby's layup's good. That's a four-point lead for Marion, 15 to 11. James brings the ball up the court with 3.45 remaining in the second quarter. James attacks, gets it to Williams, back to James. James make a move, gets it to Kyle Williams in the corner. Kyle Williams sets up a play. Eight seconds on the shot clock. She attacks, gets it to Kyra James. Back to Kyle Williams. She shoots and she misses as the shot clock went off. They call a shot clock violation since the ball did not hit the rim. Into the ball game for Nettleton is Aubrey Butler. 11 to 15, 315 remaining, Marion with a four point lead. Marion's on a seven point run here. Nettleton led 11 to eight at the end of the first quarter, but it's been all Marion here in the second quarter. They've taken a four point lead. Uh, Neil with it on the Raider logo, gets it to Holloman. Holloman attacks, her shot's blocked by Donna Douglas. It goes out of bounds, last touch by Donna after the, a great block, it's gonna be Marion's ball. Inbounding to Selvi. Gets it to Johnson, gets it to Holloman, and then back to Selvi. Selvi attacks, her shot is no good, rebounded by Donna Douglas. Gets it, Donna gets it to Kyra, and Kyra's gonna take the ball down the court. 
nice move by Kyra James. Just could not keep the handle on it as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, good defense here by Aya Johnson. Dyson takes it down the court. It's intercepted by Aubrey Butler. Aubrey's going to try to slow it down. She waits at half court for the rest of the Lady Raiders to join her. Mm. As her pass was picked off, but Neal stepped out of bounds while she was doing it, making it Raider ball. Good news, Carmen McShann is up off the bench and checking into the game. Has her knee wrapped up, and, but Carmen McShann is back into the game. That is good news for the Raider Nation. It sure is. She is a stellar player. Butler inbounds to Hill. Back to Butler, back to, and to McShann, to Donna Douglas, and her shot's blocked. Her shot was blocked by number 11, Taylor Whittle. Good block. It's impressive to block Donna Douglas. Yeah, Taylor Little gave up four inches in that battle. As, as Donna's just about six foot. Taylor is 5'8", but she still blocked her shot. She can jump. Inbounded to uh, McShan. McShan's at the wing. Calling for a screen. Fakes the screen and goes left. To, gets it to Kiki. Gets Kiki to Aubrey. Aubrey to Donna. Donna scores. Makes it 15 to 13. Two-point deficit, Marion favored. Two Good minutes remaining in the second. Good assist there by Aubrey Butler. Neal with it on the wing. She attacks on Donna, and they call a block. And one. Makes it 17 to 13 with a minute 53 remaining in the half. And Neal will be going to the line for one. That's Donna's second personal foul, fourth team foul. And as you said, Jacob, it's going to give them the chance for the old conventional three-point play, or as you kids are saying these days, the and one. Neal's shot is no good. Rebounded by Mikayla Hill. Kyra James back in the game. She's going to take the ball down the court. James gets the screen from Donna. James still with the ball. Back to the oval end. Gets it to Kiki Brown. Kiki gets it to Aubrey. They call it out of bounds on Nettleton. I guess it went off Kiki last. Yeah, she's trying to get it up to Aubrey. There was a little collision there, and her pass just sailed out of bounds. And out on Nettleton, it's Marion Ball. Dyson to bring the ball down the court with a minute 25 remaining in this second quarter. Gets it to number 10, that's Jordan Johnson. Gets it to Neal on the wing, gets it to Whittle, back to Johnson, into Aya Johnson. Aya Johnson's layup's no good. Rebounded by Donna Douglas, and here come your Raiders. Kyra James taking it down the court. Makes a move, gets it to Kyle Williams at the arch. Gets it to Mikayla Hill. Back to Kyla Williams. Gets it to Aubrey Butler on the wing. Looks for a screen from Donna. Finds a Kyra James. Six seconds left on the shot clock. They're, the Raiders are gonna have to shoot. They shoot, Donna Douglas makes it before the clock expires. Makes it 17 to 15, Marion the lead, cut back down to two. Great job by Akira James, finding Donna Douglas underneath there. Akira James with a great assist. Dyson for Marion, looking for the last shot. 20 seconds and ticking, remain in the second half. Neal gets it to Aya Johnson. Johnson's shot is up, it's good. Sinks the little 15 footer from inside the arch. The Raiders are gonna try to score. Right quick, three ball, two ball, excuse me. It's no good as the clock expires, making it 19 to 15. And that's how the first half ends. Raiders trailing 19 to 15. We'll take a four minute break. When we come back, we will have the um, halftime show brought to you by Kavanaugh Auto Group. The Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show coming to you in four minutes. It's 19 to 15, Marion at the break, back and forth with more Raider Basket with the Halftime Show on the EAB Sports Network. Did every July 4th here refinish the floors here twice? Sized up your daughter's boyfriends here? 
waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave. This place has given you all you've dreamed of, and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man. Realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from Simmons Bank. Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. It's a mix and match special now at all Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Choose any two for $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. How about a medium two-topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, Domino's stuffed cheesy bread, salad, bread twists, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for the whole game. The mix and match special with any two for only $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. Only at your Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, PacMail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to PacMail, and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, PacMail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services, all in one store. At PacMail, you have choices. Here's PacMail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations. And our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. PacMail. See, I told you, PacMail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. PacMail. Voted the number one printing packaging and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust PacMail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at PacMail. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document Systems dealer in Jonesboro. That's right, since 1965, Forest Office Machines has provided dependable office equipment and reliable service. We follow the equipment journey through all kinds of changes and developments, always on the cutting edge, whatever that is. And our partnership with Sharp Document Systems means we offer the very latest, most dependable equipment. And Forest is the only office equipment dealer that when you need supplies, you can walk in our store and get it. And when you need it fixed, you can call us. This is Barry Forrest. My family's been taking care of equipment needs of businesses just like yours since 1965. I would love to work for you today. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document System dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932-7852, 932-7852. Call Forest Office Machines today. Evolve Bank & Trust is now bringing full-service banking to Jonesboro. To celebrate, we're offering you $200 extra. Just open a new checking account with Evolve. Have at least two qualifying direct deposits of $500 or more within 90 days. Then we'll deposit $200 extra into your account. It's just that easy. Open a new Evolve checking account and receive an extra $200 in your account, plus free checks for a year. Restrictions apply. Visit getevolved.com slash special promotion for more details. Or come in and see us at 111 East Huntington Avenue, Suite A. Or call us at 870-933-2480. That's 870-933-2480. Evolve Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. And we welcome you back to Nettleton High School where Raider Pride is justified. Craig Miller, Jacob Linderman here. High atop Raider Gym in the NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist Healthcare for the next century. We want to welcome you to the Cavanaugh Auto Group Halftime Show. Halftime is brought to you by the Cavanaugh Auto Group. Hey, if you want to see their complete inventory, you, you can do so from the comfort of your home. All you got to do is log on to KavanaughCars.com. That's KavanaughCars.com, and they bring you the Kavanaugh Auto Group Halftime Show. Here at the half, the score is the Lady Patriots of Marion, 19, and your Lady Raiders, 15. Nettleton got off to a fast start. In fact, they led the entire first quarter, and at the end of the first quarter, the score was Nettleton 11, Marion 8. However, the second quarter belonged to the Lady Patriots as they outscored Nettleton 11 to 4 in the 
uh, second quarter. You add all those numbers up together and you get our score here at half. It's Marion 19, Nettleton 15. Individual leaders for Nettleton, they are, they've had four young ladies score. They're led by Donna Douglas, the six foot junior, has five points, she leads Nettleton. Carmen McShann has four, and Akira James does as well, and Kyla Williams has two. Carmen McShann set out much of the second quarter as she was injured, like she injured her uh, left knee on a uh, drive toward the basket. Thankfully, she's all right, she's back into the game. She does appear to be favoring the knee a little bit, but man, she was playing an outstanding first quarter whenever she uh, got injured. And, Jacob, I know you'll agree with me whenever you say that we hope that Carmen is, is uh, doing well and, and uh, back to 100% very soon. Yes, sir. She's one of our incredible players, and we can't stand to see her rate or hurt here in Nettleton. No doubt about it. As for Marion, they are led by Kiara Neal. The six-foot senior has six points. Also for the Lady Patriots, Niaja Jackson has five. That's their uh, nifty little point guard. Um, Aya Johnson and Elise Holliman both have three, and Valencia Selvi has two. So here at the half, it's 19 to 15, Marion. We'll take a three-minute break. When we come back, we'll have the second half for you, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Hello, I'm estate planning and elder law attorney Chad Oldham. More and more often today, I hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old. Don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home costs. Be prepared. Have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. Now you can enjoy the great taste of Japan in downtown Jonesboro. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine has all your favorites from steak and chicken to seafood and sushi. Bamboo also has house poke bowls, or you can build your own bowl. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine with hibachi, sushi, and seafood is open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner, and discounts are available for students. So stop by and dine in with us, or log on to BambooJapaneseCuisine.com and like them on Facebook. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine on the corner of Main and Huntington in downtown Jonesboro. Demo Smokehouse Bar. Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demos Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demos. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demos Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is watering. Your vehicle is a personal and important investment at central collision center we're more than collision repair we do everything from minor paint touch-ups and windshield replacements to framework we're committed to customer satisfaction and provide the highest quality of service at central collision center we provide honest and expert auto care and offer a written lifetime warranty and on-site rental car arrangements stop by or give us a call today to schedule your free estimate central collision center professional convenient reliable find central chevrolet on stadium and online at centralcollisionctr.com whether you're replacing an old appliance or remodeling your whole kitchen, the appliances you need are right around the corner with GE Appliances at Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro. Shop timeless designs and time-saving features on the appliances that are built to last in the busiest homes. Visit Tucker's Appliance today and upgrade your home your way with GE Appliances and your local experts. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. Tucker's Appliance. And we welcome you back to Nettleton High School where here at the half, Marion at Leeds, the Nettleton Lady Raiders by the score of 19 to 15. Hope that you enjoyed the Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show. Remember to see their complete inventory from the comfort of your home, log on to KavanaughCars.com. Man, this would be a good night to look for a brand new truck. KavanaughCars.com. Second half getting underway. Here to tell you about the third quarter is Raider Junior, Jacob Linderman. Inbounded to... Jackson, she gets it to Johnson. 
to the other Johnson. She makes a move. Now it's with Holloman to Jordan Johnson. Back to Holloman. Holloman. Layup's no good. Her second one is makes it 21 to 15. Kyra James finds Kyla Williams trying to evade the trap. Kyla gets it to Aubrey Butler, top of the key, fakes a shot, gets it to Donna Douglas. Her layup is good. Makes it 21 to 17 with seven minutes and 15 seconds remaining. And her shot is uh, number 15 shot is no good. Rebounded by Douglas, gets it to James. James drives, finds Williams. Shot, her pass is broken up and Patriots are coming right at him. Jackson's shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Donna Douglas. James with the ball. Trying to evade the press. Gets it to Kyle Williams on the wing. Kyla gets it back to Kyra, standing on the oval end. Finds Donna. Off the feet of Aubrey Butler, Donna Douglas' pass was a little too low. Did not get the right bounce, and off of the feet of Aubrey Butler with 6.36 remaining. Jackson's pass to Aya Johnson goes out of bounds off of the hands of Aya Johnson. It's gonna be Nettleton Ball. Kiara Neal's checking into the game for Marion. They lead the Lady Raiders 21 to 17 with 6.32 remaining in the third quarter. Aubrey Butler inbounds to James. James takes the ball up the court. James sets up the play. Gets it to McKenzie Williams. To James on the back door cut. Back to McKenzie Williams. To Aubrey Butler in the corner. Her shot from three. Off the front iron, no good. Rebounded by Aya Johnson, gets it to Jackson. She finds Neil down the court. Neil is fouled by Donna Douglas. That is Donna's third foul of the game. And Kira Neal is gonna be going to the free throw line for two. That's Donna Douglas' third personal foul here. 6.04 remaining in the third quarter. Her first shots off the front are no good. Still 21 to 17. In for the, into the game is Macaulay Hill coming in for Donna Douglas. Yeah, I thought Coach Hawkins might sub for Donna. She's got three fouls here early in the third quarter. Not a person you want to foul trouble. Uh, she's a big part of this offense and a big part of the Lady Raiders defense. Neil's second shot is up. It's no good. Rebounded by Aya yeah. Johnson. Her shot is goes out of bounds, I guess off the hands of Nelton Raiders. I couldn't see it. Who had the hand on it? I believe but it was it, Hill. But yeah, they, they missed two free throws, but they got one of them aggravating offensive rebounds. They're gonna inbound in front of their own goal. Holloman gets the inbound back to Jackson. Jackson working a move on a Kyra James, gets it into Holloman. Good defense by the Juice out of the hands of Hill on the intercepted pass. It goes out of bounds, still Marion Patriot ball with 5.51 remaining. Marion with a four point lead, 21 to 17. Now Asia Jackson set to inbound. Gets it into Aya Johnson in the corner, finds Kira Neal on the wing, gets it to Hallman, top of the key. She gets it to Jordan Johnson, back to Niasia Jackson. Back to Jordan Johnson. Gets it to Holloman. Four seconds on the shot clock. They're gonna have to shoot. Shot clock expires. It's gonna be Raider ball. I'm Coach still Hawk. learning. I'm still learning the rules on this shot clock. The shot clock um, buzzed. Aubrey Butler had the ball, was going for a breakaway there, but they making Nettleton take it out. I guess that's what they do on the shot clock violation. You gotta take the ball out. I guess so. James with the ball on the wing working on the double team. Gets the ball to Ooh. Kyle William on a risky bounce pass. He gets it to Juice. Back to Kyle William. Kyle William drives. Her shot attempt is good. Makes it 21 to 19. Raiders slim down the lead by two. Five minutes remaining in the third quarter with Niaja Jackson with the ball. Gets it to Hallman at the free throw on. Her drive is blocked by the Juice. Her, the block attempt goes out of bounds. It's gonna be Patriot ball steal. 
but good block and defensive play by the Juice. No doubt about it. Elise Holliman's a six foot senior. She was driving toward the bucket. Juice denied her. Good job, Mackenzie Williams. Inbounded to Aya Johnson. Aya Johnson works on Makayla Hill. Shot fake. Her shot attempt is no good. And the Raiders are going to take the ball. James gets it to Williams on the wing. Gets it to Bowler in the corner. Back to Williams. Back to James at the top of the key. Four minutes and 30 seconds remaining. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Marion leads by two. James sets up the play. Gets it to Butler. Screen by Hill. Butler's three-point attempt is up. It's out. Rimmed in and out. No good. Rebounded by Aya Johnson. Gets it to Jackson. Finds Neil on the wing. And her ball got a little rambled there and almost went out of bounds. Saved by Holloman. Holloman got it to Jackson. Jackson makes a drive attempt on James. And... The ref calls an on the four foul on a Kyra James. I guess he called the body push call with four minutes remaining here in the third. Just a Kyra's first personal foul of this game. Inbounded into Kira Neal. Neal gets a screen by Aya Johnson. She kicks it to Niaja Jackson. Jackson guarded by James. James gets it to Johnson, inside to Neal. They call the double dribble. She dribbled it, picked it up, then dribbled again, trying to make a post move, and it just did not go well. Yeah, good defense there by Kyla Williams forcing that. Kyla has done a good job for the Lady Raiders tonight defensively. Speaking of Kyla Williams, she got subbed out for Kiki Brown. Good to see Kiki playing. James brings the ball down the court. Three minutes and 40 seconds remain in the third. James drives, and they call a foul. They call the foul on Holloman. I wasn't sure they were going to call the foul on. There was three Patriots around her, and it's going to be a on the four call. The score is Marion 21, Nettleton 19, 3.33 to play in the third. James with the ball on the wing, gets it inside to the Juice. The Juice goes up for a layup, and the game's tied. Three minutes and 20 seconds remaining, 21-21. That's a good strategy, get it inside of the Juice. The Juice with a defensive play from scoring to stopping on defense, good job Juice. Butler taking the ball down the court, gets it to Kyra James. Kyra picked up by Niaza Jackson, gets a screen by the Juice, gets a bounce pass to Aubrey Butler, went in between her legs and out of bounds. Yeah, thanks to a... Uh, Bucket and a block shot by the Juice. We're all tied up at 21 here with 3.02 remaining in the third quarter. End of the game for Jordan Johnson is Felipe, we'll just say Selby. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. And there is a timeout by Marion, and we're going to take the timeout with them. 30, 60 seconds. 30 second break. Looks like a 30, 30 second, second break. 3.02 remaining in the third quarter. We're all tied up at 21. We'll be back in 30 seconds. More Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. This is Keith Bear with Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? Saving service, great selection to And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball, Lady Raider Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Third quarter action, 3.02 remaining. We're all tied up at 21 here to tell you about the action. Raider junior Jacob Linderman. Jackson takes the ball down the court, gets it to Selby. Selby gets it to Neal. Neal gets it inside to Aya Johnson. Gets it to Jackson on the wing. Shot fakes to Kyra James. Gets around her. Gets it to Selby in the corner. Back to Johnson on the wing. Finds Neal. Neal drives. Picked up heavily by Hill. Gets it to Holm at the free throw line, and her shot attempt is no good. Good defense by the Juice. The Juice with the defensive rebound, and here come the Raiders. James makes Selby miss on a steal attempt, and James is going to set up the play. Gets it to Butler on the wing. Gets a screen by Kiki Brown. Butler gets it to James. James attacks. And they call a foul. It's going to be on Selby. 
And that's her second charge foul with two minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 21 to 21, we're all tied up here at Raider Gym. Set to inbound is the Juice. Juice slaps the ball, calls for the play, gets it into Butler, Butler on the wing. Gets it to Brown in the corner, back to Butler. Gets it to James on the oval end. James back to Butler on the wing. Gets a screen by the Juice. Gets it to James, James for three. It's off the back iron, rebounded by Holloman of the Patriots, and Jackson's gonna go with it. Gets it to Selvey. Selvey gets it to Holloman, gets it back to Jackson. They get it to Neal, Neal's layup is good. 23 to 21 with a minute 37 remaining. This is a good game, folks. Yeah, Marion just took a two point lead on a nice layup there by Neal. Juice with the ball at the top of the key. Gets it to Brown. Back to James. James on the wing. Gets it inside to the Juice. The Juice with the layup. The Juice on the loose makes the game 23 all with a minute 15 remaining. Jackson takes the ball down the court. This Marion team plays fast. They play hard. Good cutthroat game. Jackson with the ball on the wing. Sets up the play. Gets it inside to Selby. Selby gets a blocking call. Brown charged with the block. Selvey is gonna be shooting two at the line. 59 seconds remain, 23 all. Selvey's set to shoot two. The first one's up, it's good. Makes it 24 to 23. That's Kiki's first, team, first foul. Nettleton's third team foul. Selby's second shot is out of the rim. It's only a one point game. Off of Marion, the rebound will go to Nettleton out of the out of bounds called last touch by Elise Holloman. Inbounded to James. 55 seconds remain in the third quarter. 23-24, Raiders down by one. James sets up a play at the top of the key. Picked up by Selby. Makes a move. She's gonna go to the rim. Kicks it out to Aubrey Butler, back to the Juice, to Kiki Brown, her shot's blocked by Neil. Neil gets the rebound herself and she's gonna go herself. Gets it to Jackson. Shot clock and play clock are line. 25 seconds on each. 23-24 with the in the third quarter. Looks like Marion's gonna be holding it for that last shot of the third quarter. It's a smart game plan, the old Mark McCord stall ball. Jackson with the ball on the Raider logo. Gets it to Selby inside. Gets it to Holloman, to Aya Johnson. Johnson gets it to Selby. Selby shots no good. That's gonna end the third quarter. Where Raiders are down by one, 23 yeah. to 24. 24 to 23, the score at the end of the third quarter, back in 60 seconds with the fourth quarter, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy winging from Wings to Go. Tired of slow internet? Feel like you're stuck in the old days? It's time to catch up with Empower, delivered by Craighead Electric. Thanks to Empower, you don't have to wait for high-speed internet. Our new cutting-edge technology makes our services more reliable and faster than the competition. Call 870-336-0999 to check internet availability in your area. That's 870-336-0999. Empower, high-speed internet for your neck of the woods. And we welcome you back to Raider GM, Craig Miller, Jacob Linderman here at the NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist Healthcare for the next century. We're about to start the fourth quarter, and the Raiders are starting the fourth quarter one point behind Marion. The score is Marion 24, Nettleton 23 in what has been a defensive battle here at Raider GM. Nettleton has been a, four, a fourth quarter team all season. Let's see if they can continue that trend and pull out a win. They got the ball inbounds, Kiki with the ball, looking to her left, passes 
to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey Butler dribbles to her right to the top of the key, backs it up to the jump circle. Good defense by Jackson. She hands it off to Makayla Hill. Makayla Hill to Akira James. Akira driving, kicks it back out to Butler. Butler on the left wing, drives, shoots, middle of the lane, no good. And the battle for the rebound, the Patriots have it. 7.27 to play, Patriots 24, Nettleton 23. Marion now with the ball. Get it into their big post player, Holliman. She kicks it back out. Now then, the drive, no good is the shot. Marion gets the rebound. Fresh, well, that's actually not a fresh set of seconds. There's just 10 seconds on the shot clock, so Marion's gonna have to make a shot here within the next seven ticks. Three on the shot clock, two, one. Jackson didn't realize how much time the shot clock it, uh, buzzes. She got the shot off, but it was no good. Shot clock violation anyway, and they're going to, Nettleton will uh, inbound and drive the length of the court. Kiki Brown and Aubrey Butler are taking a rest, and Nettleton takes a timeout. With 6.51 remaining in the fourth quarter, your score is Marion 24, Nettleton 23. It's a full timeout, so we'll be back in 60 seconds for more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. The medical weight loss within the only integrated health system in Northeast Arkansas? Get a head start on your 2023 health and fitness by booking an appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Crush your goals and feel the results while saving money with the lowest cash price in town. Call 936-8000 to book your appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic and let nurse practitioner Angie Jones tailor a plan specifically for you. That's 936-8000, NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Medical weight loss you can trust. Get huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership. Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make, every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Cavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to CavanaughCars.com. We welcome you back to Raider Gym. Craig Miller, Jacob Linderman at the NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist Healthcare for the next century. The score is Marion 24, Nettleton 23. Here in the fourth quarter, 6.45 on the clock left in the game as Akira James gets it across the half court line. Gets it in the Donna Douglas, feeds the juice underneath. Good defense underneath, but the juice shoots and the juice scores. She has six points on the night and gives Nettleton a one point lead. Marion immediately back on the fast break, but they lose the handle on it, goes out of bounds. That's gonna be Lady Raider ball. Mackenzie Williams gives Nettleton a 25 to 24 lead, 628 remaining in this game. Whole lot of basketball left to play. Akira James across half court, dribbling left wing. Up top to the juice. The juice back to Akira. Donna Douglas into the game for Nettleton. Sets the screen. Akira James shoots, misses, and Marion gets the rebound. Neal with the rebound. Loose ball. Nettleton gets it. Akira James shoots and scores. Akira James, six points on the night, gives Nettleton a three point lead. 27 to 24, 555 remaining in this game. Lady Patriots with the ball. Jackson standing on the oval end just in front of the jump circle. Passes to Selvi. Selvi inside to their big post, Holloman. Now over the left wing, back to Holloman underneath. Good pass by Holloman into number 22, excuse me, 12, number 12, Aya Johnson. She makes the basket, 27 to 26. Nettleton with a one point lead now with 524 on the clock and ticking. Nettleton quickly across half court. Akira James standing just to the right of the jump circle, now dribbles, passes to Kyla Williams. Kyla working her way to the goal, drives, shoots, and scores. Kyla Williams drove and made the layup. Three-point lead for the Lady Raiders. Here comes Marion right back at us, and they scored. That was Selvi with a layup, made the score 29 to 28. And there was nobody there to, uh, for Akira James to pass it to. And so Nettleton takes a timeout. I'm sure Coach Hawkins didn't really want to take a timeout right then, but he did. 4.51 remaining in the fourth quarter. 
Nettleton up 29-28. Back in 60 seconds, more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Best savings anywhere at First National Bank. For a limited time only, a 13-month CD special at 4.03 annual percentage yield. You can visit fnbank.net slash specials to lock in your rate today. Also available by visiting any of our 23 locations in Arkansas and Tennessee. 13 months, 4.03 APY at First National Bank. Offer valid as of November 17, 2022. Rate subject to change. Valid at all locations. $1,000 minimum to open. Penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC equal housing lender. You raise your family here did every july 4th here refinished the floors here twice sized up your daughter's boyfriends here waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave this place has given you all you've dreamed of and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from simmons bank Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. You're listening to the Nettleton Raiders on Bob FM. 1013 KIYS HD2 Walnut Ridge Jonesboro. KIYS HD2. K231BB College City Jonesboro. KIYS HD4 Walnut Ridge Jonesboro. And KIYS HD4 K26S Piggott. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. Fourth quarter action. Nettleton with the ball. Quickly down the floor. They get it to the juice. Back out to Kyla Williams. Nettleton has a Nettleton has a 29 to 28 lead with 435 remaining in this game. Kyra James to Donna Douglas. Inside to the juice. The juice has her pocket pick. Ball taken away by Selvey. And here comes Jackson and the Lady Patriots. 425 to play. The Lady Raiders lead by one. 29 to 28. Marion with the ball. Johnson drives and loses a handle on it, picks it back up, gets it back to Selvey, to Jackson. 10 seconds now on the shot clock as Jackson's driving the paint. Met by the Twin Towers, denied access. The shot, Nettleton fouls Marion. They're gonna be going to the line to shooting two. See who the fouls charged against. Fouls charged against Makayla Hill, that's just her first personal. Team foul number four, puts number 12 at the line. That is Aya Johnson. She misses the first of her two free throws. So the score remains 29 to 28. Nettleton with a one point lead. Johnson's second free throw is true and good. And 29 to 29 to score, just under four minutes to play in this game. Heck of a basketball battle. Makayla Hill with the ball, driving for the layup, misses it. Donna Douglas gets the rebound, cannot get the put back to fall in. Loose ball, Marion Nettleton battling for it. It goes out of bounds, but it's going out of bounds off of the Raiders, so it's gonna be Marion ball. We're all tied up at 29 with 3.42 to play in this game. Marion inbounds it, and here comes the Patriots. They get it in to Holloman, their excellent post player. Now back out to Selby. Over on the left wing, Johnson eyes up a three-pointer and instead passes to Jackson. Back over on the left wing, they get it in to Neal, or to Selby rather. Long pass underneath. Selby misses the layup, but she's going to be fouled. That's Kyla Williams, her first personal fifth team foul. And that puts Selvi at the line, and she's going to be shooting two for Marion. The first free throw was good, and Marion now has the lead by the score of 30 to 29, 318 remaining in the game. Selvi's second free throw is also good. It's a two-point Lady Patriot lead. Akira James to inbound. Full court pressure applied by Marion. And Nettleton unable to do anything about it as Makayla Hill trying to pass it backwards to Akira James. It goes out of bounds off of Hill, and it's a turnover, a costly turnover. Marion will inbound under their own goal. They have a two-point lead. They have the basketball. They have 314 remaining in this game. They inbound and kick it back out beyond the arc. Selvey to Jackson. Back to Selvey. 
right wing. They get it in to Holloman, tries to get a post move, and instead passes back out to Johnson. No good is her shot, and Nettleton gets the rebound. Kyla Williams looking for some help, finds it in the person of Akira James. Akira gets it across half court. Raiders trail by two, 2.47 on the clock, and the clock is ticking to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams drives right side, picks up her dribble, takes a shot, gets it to fall. Kyla Williams with a shot, ties things up at 31. 31 to 31 with 2.27 to play in this ball game. What a game here at Raider Gym. Jackson to Selvey. To Neal, they're trying to work the ball in. They do so, driving is Johnson. Shot is no good, and getting grabbing the rebound is Kyla Williams. Good defense there by the Juice and by Donna Douglas. Nettleton's twin towers denying access to the hoop. All tied up at 31, Coach Tim Hawkins takes a timeout. Two minute warning here. Two minutes to play in this game. We're all tied up at 31. We will take a 60 second break. When we come back, more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network, back in 60. It's a mix and match special. Now at all Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Choose any two for $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. How about a medium two-topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, Domino stuffed cheesy bread, salad, bread twists, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for the whole gang. The mix and match special with any two for only $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. Only at your Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Your medical needs are personal and the way you manage those needs should be personal as well. The team at Southern Home Health Care is local, knowledgeable and courteous, giving you the customized care you and your family deserve. When facing breathing challenges, the on-staff respiratory therapists at Southern Home Health Care provide support and guidance just for you and you can sleep better with the help of their CPAP and BiPAP therapy. Plus, treat your strains, sprains and pain with the help of Southern Home Health Care's high quality bracing devices. Go online to southernhomehealthjonesboro.com. Craig Miller, Jacob Linderman, NEA Baptist broadcast position, NEA Baptist Healthcare for the next century, fourth quarter action. We're all tied up at 31. Two minutes to play in this game. Nettleton and Marion in Conference 5A East action. And boy, it has been a beauty here tonight. Carmen McShann sitting out for Nettleton as she hurt her left knee in the second quarter of play. Lady Raiders definitely miss Carmen. Hope that she is better soon. Kyla Williams gets it in bounds right about the four second mark to the Juice. Now back out to Akira James. Akira to the Juice. The Juice, the give and go to Akira James. Akira back to the Juice, back to Akira. Akira James from three, it's short. Nettleton gets the rebound, however. Kyla Williams goes up and is not fouled. Shot blocked, goes out of bounds. It's gonna be out of bounds off of Marion's Holliman. And so Nettleton will inbound under their own goal with 1.42 to play in this game, we're all tied up at 31. Kyla Williams inbounds, throws it high and over everybody's head, Marion gets it. Here comes the Lady Patriots, Jackson drives, misses the layup, Marion gets the rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Marion, so it's gonna be Nettleton ball. Aubrey Butler inbounds to Kyla Williams, back to Aubrey Butler, Aubrey passes to Kyla, Kyla passes to Aubrey. Aubrey across the timeline at about the eight second mark. And here come the Lady Raiders. 123 to play in the game. Kyla Williams to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey right wing to Akira James. Akira James from three, it's good. Akira James nails a three pointer. Gives Nettleton a 34-31 lead. Marion right back at it, they miss the layup. Nettleton gets the rebound. Here comes Akira James across the half court line. She's going coast to coast and she's whistled for the carry. Right in front of the Nettleton bench and coach Tim Hawkins registering his dissatisfaction with that call. But less than a minute to play now. Nettleton up by three. Marion, however, has the ball after the turnover. The carrying call against Akira James and the Lady Raiders. Jackson with the ball, 47 seconds to play. Raiders with a three-point lead, 34-31. Working it over the left wing. 
17 seconds on the shot clock as they pass to Selvey. And Coach Johnson, Shunda Johnson, calls a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. 37 seconds to play in the game. Nettleton up 34 to 31. We'll be back in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, with more fourth quarter action. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. Fourth quarter action, 37 seconds left to play. Nettleton 34, Marion 31. This has been a barn burner and it's coming right down to the wire. So glad you're joining us on Nettleton Television, the EAB Sports Network. Marion with the ball over on the left wing. Three pointer, it's no good. Off the front of the rim, battle for the rebound. Marion gets it. Driving is number three, Neil. She misses the shot and Nettleton gets the rebound. That's Kyla Williams with a huge rebound for Nettleton, and she is fouled with 21 seconds remaining in the game. That is just the uh, fourth, excuse me, third team foul against Marion. So Nettleton will inbound. Nettleton has played a clean second half, and they're being rewarded by it. And the ball is inbound pass is deflected. Nettleton will try to inbound it again, this time from the corner. Marion providing full court, or applying for full court pressure on the Raiders. They get it into Akira James, and Akira is fouled. That is the fourth team foul against Marion. Comes at 19.6 seconds on the clock. So I guess they're gonna try to keep on fouling them until they get to the one and one. They got three more fouls to go. Coach Tim Hawkins calls a timeout. He don't like what's happening right now. He's gonna try to draw up a better way of handling this situation. We'll take a timeout with him. 19 seconds remaining in the game. Nettleton up 34-31, back in 60. for Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Hello, I'm estate planning and elder law attorney, Chad Oldham. More and more often today, I hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old. Don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home costs. Be prepared, have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. This is Keith Baird with the Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? Saving service, great selection too. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym, where with 19 seconds remaining in this game, Nettleton has a 34-31 lead over Marion. Marion applying full court pressure here and trying to deny Nettleton the opportunity to inbound the basketball. Kyla Williams taking it out, having trouble getting it in, and she just heaves it, Juice gets it. Nettleton across half court. Kyla Williams is fouled by Felicia Selvi. Felicia, Sel Felicia Selvi. Let's hope that Kyla is all right. She's a little bit slow to arise, and she is doing all right, it looks like. That is the fifth team foul against Marion. 15 seconds, so four seconds went off the clock right there. And Marion's got two more fouls before they're in the one and one. And I guess that's what the, the plan is. Kyla Williams inbounds, gets it to the juice, back to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams is fouled by Selvey. Man, she's fouled hard, knocked her completely into the bench. That is the fourth foul on Selvey. Maybe the fifth foul. On, yeah, that is the fifth foul on Selvey. So Selvey is out of the game for Marion. 11.9 seconds remaining. Nettleton 34, Marion 31. One more foul 
and Nettleton will be in the one and one bonus. Kyla Williams to inbound. Risky pass, gets it to Akira James. Akira is fouled, and that'll be the seventh foul. So Akira James go to the line with 8.9 seconds. She's fouled by Kiara Neal. Akira makes a, one of these free throws, this game over. Nettleton has a three-point lead, 34 to 31. Unless something crazy were to happen. Eight seconds remaining in the game. Akira trying to put the game on ice with this free throw. Free throw is up. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. Marion has it. They're going to have a chance. And a timeout called by Marion's coach. Six seconds remaining in the game. Nettleton 34, Marion 31. They've got time to get it down the court and fire up a three-pointer. So don't you go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in 60 seconds with the remaining six seconds of this game. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Raiders up 34-31. I tell you what, let's go 30 seconds. We'll be back in 30 seconds with the conclusion of this game. Hopefully a thrilling victory for the Raiders. Back in 30 seconds, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Feel like the you're wings, stuck in the, the old salads, days. It's the time hamburgers, to catch up everything. with Empower, delivered by Craighead Electric. Thanks to Empower, you don't have to wait for high-speed internet. Our new cutting-edge technology makes our services more reliable and faster than the competition. Call 870-336-0999 to check internet availability in your area. That's 870-336-0999. Empower, high-speed internet for your neck of the woods. We welcome you back to Raider GM where we are in the waning seconds of the fourth quarter. What a game this has been, Nettleton and Marion. The score is Nettleton 34, Marion 31. Six seconds remaining in the game. Marion has the ball. They're gonna be taking it out on the far sideline. They'll be moving left to right on your radio dial. They have about three quarters of the court to go. 6.4 seconds, enough time to get it in. They do get it in. Jackson driving against Akira James. Akira fouls her. That's a smart play right there. Akira James fouled, and now they're gonna, uh, they're not in the bonus. That's just six fouls for the Raiders, but it keeps them from firing up a three-pointer. Shonda Jackson takes another timeout. Three seconds remaining in this game, a full timeout. We'll take a 60 second break with them. Nettleton 34, Marion 31, back in 60 seconds with more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. More air conditioning. Is your HVAC system ready for fall and winter? Find out today with the More Super Checkup. Prevent unexpected breakdowns while extending the life of your system. Whether you need a heating or cooling inspection, we cover it all for just $54 for 54 years serving you. Call More Air Conditioning today, a Google guaranteed HVAC company, 870-336-2023. Or visit us at moreac.com. You deserve more, don't sell for less. You love your truck. Implaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better with custom wheels, leveling kits, and the area's best selection of light truck tires, ATs, mud tires, and RTs up to 35s and bigger. Plaza Tire Service has the tires you want in stock today and will help you select a great combination that gets your truck exactly the way you want it. In Jonesboro and South Caraway, and now at our newest location on East Johnson Avenue, the biggest selection, the best service, and the lowest prices on light truck tires are at Plaza Tire Service. Yeah! Three seconds remaining in this game. Nettleton with a three-point lead, 34 to 31. Marion with the ball. They're gonna take it out right at the half-court line, far sideline. They got time to get it in bounds and throw up a three. They do so, it's blocked by Donna Douglas. Donna Douglas with the block shot. She said, I don't think so, not today, not in my house. Donna Douglas with the big block, 0.5 seconds remaining in the game, and now it's gonna take a miracle for Marion to pull this off after the big block by Donna Douglas. Marion inbounds, turn around three, and it's no good. Partially blocked by Akira James, and Nettleton's gonna win the game 34 to 31. 
34 to 31. The Lady Raiders win. The Lady Raiders win. The Lady Raiders win. They move to 2 and 0 in conference. They move to 14 and 1 on the season. A hard fought victory over a very good Marion team. We'll take a three minute break. And when we come back, we will have the post-game show for you, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. You can make game night even better by ordering online at dominoes.com or from the Domino's app. Back in three minutes with the post-game show, Raider Basketball on EAB Sports Network. When you bank at First Security, you're choosing better for yourself and fellow Arkansans. Better service from friendly professionals who really invest in your goals better solutions with convenient tools and smart resources, and better support for the things that matter to you, as well as the communities that matter to us all. Because finding your better at First Security makes Arkansas better too. First Security, bank better. Member FDIC. Now you can enjoy the great taste of Japan in downtown Jonesboro. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine has all your favorites from steak and chicken to seafood and sushi. Bamboo also has house poke bowls, or you can build your own bowl. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine with hibachi, sushi, and seafood is open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner, and discounts are available for students. So stop by and dine in with us, or log on to BambooJapaneseCuisine.com and like them on Facebook. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine on the corner of Main and Huntington in downtown Jonesboro. Put your daily off Office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document Systems dealer in Jonesboro. That's right, since 1965, Forest Office Machines has provided dependable office equipment and reliable service. We follow the equipment journey through all kinds of changes and developments, always on the cutting edge, whatever that is. And our partnership with Sharp Document Systems means we offer the very latest, most dependable equipment. And Forest is the only office equipment dealer that when you need supplies, you can walk in our store and get it. And when you need it fixed, you can call us. This is Barry Forrest. My family's been taking care of equipment needs of businesses just like yours since 1965. I would love to work for you today. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document System dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932-7852. 932-7852. Call Forest Office Machines today. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, PacMail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to PacMail, and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, PacMail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services, all in one store. At PacMail, you have choices. Here's PacMail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations. And our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. PacMail. See, I told you, PacMail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. PacMail. Voted the number one printing, packaging, and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust PacMail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at PacMail. What a win for the Lady Raiders as they move to 2-0 in conference 5A East action after a thrilling 34-31 victory over Marion. My name is Craig Miller. I want to welcome you into the Domino's Pizza postgame show sponsored by Domino's Pizza. You can make game night even better by ordering online at dominoes.com or from the Domino's app. The Lady Raiders jumped out. They started fast and they finished strong. That's what they did tonight. They uh, got out to an 11-8 to lead at the end of the first quarter. Now Marion dominated the second quarter. They beat Nettleton 11-4 to in the second frame and they went into the halftime break with a 19-15 to lead over the Lady Raiders. However, the Lady Raiders are a second half club. In particular, a fourth quarter club. They outscored Marion 8-5 to in the third quarter cutting the lead to one entering the fourth frame. It was 24 to 23 as the fourth quarter started and the Lady Raiders did what the Lady Raiders do. They dominated the fourth quarter 11 to seven and they beat Marion 34 to 31. Uh, Nettleton had a three point lead but Marion had a chance to tie it. Three seconds, they inbounded it, had a good look at a three pointer but Donna Douglas stepped up and blocked a shot and that pretty much ended the night for the Lady Patriots. 
we want to give out an award here for the JOSM Player of the Game. The Player of the Game Award is brought to you by Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. They've been getting you back in the game for more than 40 years. And the JOSM Player of the Game tonight is Lady Raider senior guard, Akira James. The 5'5", 12th grader had a heck of a game. She had nine points, um, four of which came in the first half. But let me tell you, when it really mattered, Akira James stepped up. In the fourth quarter, she scored five points and was just hit, a, in, including the, uh, the game-winning three-pointer, and was just doing what, le what seniors should do, providing great leadership out there on the court. Akira James with nine points. She leads all scorers in the game, and she is the JOSM player of the game. Congratulations to a great young lady, Akira James. She led the Raiders to victory tonight and she is the JOSM player of the game. Also for Nettleton, Kyla Williams had a big game, eight points for the 5'5 senior, great game by Kyla. Donna Douglas with seven points, and Donna, um, along with her fellow post player, fellow Twin Tower member, Mackenzie Williams, heck of a defensive effort tonight. Six points for Mackenzie Williams, the juice, and four points for Carmen McShann in limited action. Carmen was injured in the second quarter. Um, like she may have sprained her left knee. Let's hope that it's nothing major. and Let's hope that Carmen is back out there very, very soon. Hopefully we'll have a chance to talk with Coach Tim Hawkins in the halftime of the boys game, and he can maybe tell us a little bit more about Carmen's injury. For West Memphis, I'm so sorry. For Marion, oh, they will be so mad at me. Hopefully nobody from Marion is listening to this. Um, for the Marion Lady Patriots, they are led by Kiara Neal with eight points. Aya Johnson with six, Valencia Selvi seven, Niasia Jackson and Elise Holliman both had five. So balanced scoring attack for the Lady Patriots. A little bit short though, as Nettleton comes away with a three point lead. They win this one by the score of 34 to 31. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll take a two minute break. And when we come back, we will have the pregame show for the boys game. The nightcap coming up after a two minute break, Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Know you have access to medical weight loss within the only integrated health system in Northeast Arkansas? Get a head start on your 2023 health and fitness by booking an appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Crush your goals and feel the results while saving money with the lowest cash price in town. Call 936-8000 to book your appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic and let nurse practitioner Angie Jones tailor a plan specifically for you. That's 936-8000, NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Medical weight loss you can trust best savings anywhere at First National Bank. For a limited time only, a 13-month CD special at 4.03 annual percentage yield. You can visit fnbank.net slash specials to lock in your rate today. Also available by visiting any of our 23 locations in Arkansas and Tennessee. 13 months, 4.03 APY at First National Bank. Offer valid as of November 17, 2022. Rate subject to change. Valid at all locations. $1,000 minimum to open. Penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Get huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership. Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make, every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Cavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to KavanaughCars.com. For more than 40 years, one of the best teams anywhere has been the one at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. They're experts at getting you back in the game. If you have an athlete in your life dealing with elbow, knee, or ankle pain, or maybe you've got a nagging injury keeping you away from the activities you love most, go see the doctors at JOSM. Call 932-1820. Visit their Facebook page and at jonesboroortho.com. Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, excelling in our field so you can excel on yours. Hey, we welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, back to Nettleton High School. This is the first National Bank pregame show for the boys' game. Our pregame coverage for this 5A East battle between Nettleton and Marion is brought to you by First National Bank, where they put you first always. Nettleton about to take on the Marion Patriots. In fact, we're about 55 seconds away from the pregame introductions. 
Nettleton's coming into this game with a 12 and four record. They are one and oh in conference after a thrilling victory at Green County Tech Friday night. Big win for the Raiders and they're looking to run their conference record to two and oh. Tall task though, as they play the always tough Marion Patriots. Marion defeated Nettleton twice last year, swept us in the, in the um, series last year. They are 11 and five on the year, but again, that record um, not really indicative of how good of a team this is, as they had a very tough non-conference schedule. They are 1-0 in conference. They beat their crosstown rivals, the West Memphis Blue Devils, on Friday, and they are coming in looking to run their record to 2-0. We are just about to uh, um, name the starting lineups. I'll tell you what, we'll take a 30-second break. When we come back, we will have the tip. 30-second break, Raider basketball will start. Boys game will start in 30 seconds. Better basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Family here. Did every July 4th here refinish the floors here twice? Sized up your daughter's boyfriends here? Waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave. This place has given you all you've dreamed of, and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man. Realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from Simmons Bank. Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender subject to credit approval. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym where we're just about to tip off here in the boys game. Nettleton versus Marion. Starting lineups tonight for Nettleton. Taylor Smith, D. Rock Moton, D. Roderick Moton. Jamari Thomas, Jordan Pegram, and Deshaun Jackson. For Marion, they're going to counter with number two, Lindell Buckingham. Number three, David Brewer. Number four, Jalen White. Number five, Caden Nesbitt. And number 11, Donnie Cheers. So the guys have been introduced. The last second instructions are being given by Coach Bubba Deaton and Coach David Clark. And Marion reports to the jump circle. Nettleton will be following here in just a second and we're about to tip this thing off looks like taylor smith is going to jump for the raiders and for the patriots i believe that is jalen white the tip is controlled by white and the patriots and he knocks it all the way out of bounds so it's going to be nettleton's ball nettleton will have first possession and they will inbound right in front of the Marion bench. In football, we'd call this a short field. I don't think we call it a short court. Nettleton takes it out in Patriot territory. They get it to Jordan Pegram. Jordan stumbles, maintains his footing, driving, and he is fouled by Nesbitt. Foul charged against Caden at Nesbitt. First personal, first team foul. And we're scoreless here in the first quarter at Nettleton. Taylor Smith will inbound under the Raiders' goal. High long pass to D Rock City. D Roderick Moten. Oh, what a heck of a game D Rock had at Green County Tech. Exclamation point put on that victory by a last second dunk. Taylor Smith from three. It's no good. The battle for the rebound. Deshaun Jackson gets it for the Raiders. Passes it to Jamari Thomas. Jordan Pegram from three. It's no good. Out of bounds. Let's see who is off of. Last touched by Nettleton. Last touched by Nettleton. D Rock City, I believe, was the last Raider to touch it. In any event, Marion has the ball, and here come the Patriots. Buckingham across half court. He passes to White at the top of the key. Over to the left wing to Donnie Cheers. Alley Oop, it looked like, but did not pan out. And number four, Jalen White. Dribbles the ball out of bounds, hits the baseline, and Nettleton will inbound. Jordan Pegram to Jamari Thomas. Jamari Thomas across half court. Jamari Thomas, top of the key, passes to D Rock City. Jeroderick Moten. D Rock gets a step on his defender, drives, has his layup blocked, and Marion with the ball. Across half court, here come the Patriots. Baseline drive, shot is blocked by Deshaun Jackson. Donnie Cheers driving the baseline. Deshaun Jackson said, how do you do, Mrs. Wiley? 
block the ball out of bounds. And we're still scoreless here, 6.44 remaining in the first quarter. Marion driving, and I believe that's going to be a foul charge against DeRodrick Moten. First personal, first team foul, and it's going to send David Brewer to the line, and David Brewer will be shooting two. Mercy Daddy. What a thrilling win for the Lady Raiders, and let's hope the Raiders can make it a sweep. The always tough Marion Patriots. First free throw from Brewer is up and good. He's a six foot junior. Marion wearing their red uniforms. Nettleton with their home whites. Marion moving right to left on your radio dial. Nettleton moving left to right. Brewer makes his second free throw. Two to nothing to score. Marion with a 2-0 lead. Jamari Thomas across half court. Jamari to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun to D-Rock City. DeRodrick Moten to Deshaun Jackson. To Taylor Smith. Taylor trying to get it to Deshaun. That's a turnover. Marion with the ball. Buckingham. Dribbles toward the right wing, passes to White at the top of the key. Two cheers, Donnie cheers, the give and go, the alley-oop attempt, no good. However, there's a foul charge against the Raiders. It's gonna be against Deshaun Jackson. First personal, second team foul. And it's gonna put Jalen White at the line for the Patriots. His first free throw is no good. He's shooting two. Patriots have a two to nothing. The Patriots have a two to nothing lead over Nettleton. Jalen White's second free throw up. And this one falls in. Front of the rim, back of the rim, and through. And Nettleton trailing by three. Jamari Thomas across the timeline. Dribbling to his left. Jamari picks up his dribble, hands it to Taylor Smith. Taylor drives. The J is good. Taylor Smith sinks about a 12-footer, and Nettleton within one. It's 3-2. to two. Marion now with the lead. Patriots with the ball. Top of the key. That's Nesbitt. Passes left wing. Back up front at the jump circle is Lindell Buckingham, just to the left of the jump circle. He's dribbling to his right, passes back to his left. Shot clock is at 10. They're going to have to get things going here. There's the shot from three, number three. It's short. However, Marion controls the rebound. The follow-up shot, no good. Jordan Pigram gets the rebound. Here come the Raiders. Taylor Smith, a sensational junior, turns the ball over, and here comes Marion. Euro step, layup, no good, but the stick back is good by number 11, Donnie Cheers, and Marion has a 5-2 lead with 4.49 remaining in the first quarter. Jamari Thomas with the ball, passes to Jordan Pegram, the All-State defensive lineman, to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith has, his, has the ball stolen away from him, and here come Cheers and the, and the Patriots. Missed shot, but Marion gets the rebound, and on the way up, they're gonna whistle, I believe, Jordan Pegram for the foul. Let's see who they charge against. Jordan Pegram, first personal, third team foul, and Marion will inbound under their own goal. They get it in to Nesbitt. He misses, and Jordan Pegram grabs the rebound. Passes to Taylor Smith as he was in the process of falling to the hardwood, and Taylor Smith quickly across half court to Jordan Pegram at the top of the key. The big man passes to Jamari Thomas. Jamari Thomas. Breaking ankles, pulls back, passes to D-Rock Moten. D-Rock left corner, Jordan Pegram, and it's got, they're gonna call an offensive foul against D-Rock. D-Rodrick Moten, his second personal, fourth team foul. And D-Rock's gonna take a little bit of a rest as he picks up two fouls here in the first three minutes, first four minutes of the first quarter. 403 remaining in the first quarter, and scores. Marion five, Nettleton two. Cordarius Thompson into the game for the Raiders. 
Marion with the ball. White to Buckingham. Buckingham takes a shot, misses. White gets a rebound. Cordarius Thompson picks his pocket, but he, White gets it and sticks it back in. Two-point bucket. Good job, good offensive rebound, and a bucket there by White. It's 7-2. to two. Marion with a five-point lead over the Raiders. Jamari Thomas now with the ball. Over on the left wing, passes to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun misses the running layup. Marion gets the rebound. Here come the Patriots driving. They, on the shot, he is fouled. It's going to be two shots. Foul is charged against number 14, Jamari Thomas. First personal fifth team foul. And I believe that's number 11. Donnie Cheer is at the line. First free throw is good. That makes the score eight to two. Jamari Thomas passes to Deshaun Jackson, gets it into Q Thompson. Q Thompson left wing to Taylor Smith, misses the three, and Marion with a fast break. Here come the Patriots. The shot is no good. Battle for the rebound, Nettleton gets it. Good job by Taylor Smith. Fires it to Q Thompson, and Q has the ball stolen away from him from behind. Here comes Marion. They've got a eight to two lead over Nettleton with 2.45 to play here in the first quarter. Marion's Buckingham driving, misses the shot, goes out of bounds. And we are having a little extracurricular activity Unfortunately. I tell you what, I tell you what, let's do. Let's go to a commercial break. We'll take a uh, 60 second break, and when we come back, we'll have more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. It's a mix and match special now at all Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Choose any two for $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. How about a medium two-topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, Domino stuffed cheesy bread, salad, bread twists, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for the whole gang. The mix and match special with any two for only $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. Only at your Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Your medical needs are personal and the way you manage those needs should be personal as well. The team at Southern Home Health Care is local, knowledgeable, and courteous, giving you the customized care you and your family deserve. When facing breathing challenges, the on-staff respiratory therapists at Southern Home Health Care provide support and guidance just for you and you can sleep better with the help of their CPAP and BiPAP therapy. Plus, treat your strains, sprains, and pain with the help of Southern Home Health Care's high-quality bracing devices. Go online to southernhomehealthjonesboro.com. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Unfortunately, we had a little altercation in the Nettleton student section. It looked like some uh, folks who did not belong had somehow or another got into the gym. And um, But the, uh, the law enforcement here, and they have gotten things taken care of and gotten the guilty parties out. And we're getting back to basketball. 2.38 to play in the first quarter. 8-2 to two the score. Marion with a six-point lead over Nettleton. Taylor Smith now with the ball. Taylor Smith pulls up, passes to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun going to the rack, and he is fouled. Fouls charged against number four, Jalen White. That's his first personal. Second team foul, and it sends Deshaun Jackson to the line, and he will be shooting two. Deshaun's first free throw is good. And that makes the score eight to three. Marion with an eight to three lead over the Raiders. Second free throw is also good by Deshaun Jackson. And that makes the score eight to four. So the Raiders battling back here. 
against the Patriots. 2.22 on the clock as Buckingham gets it across half court. Patriots working the ball over on the right wing. Now at the top of the key. He's going to drive into the paint. The ball is shot is blocked by Jordan Pegram. However, Marion gets the carom. Got about 11 seconds on the shot clock. Now it's below 10. So Marion going to have to attack the rack here. Number two pulls back for a three-pointer. It's no good. However, Marion gets the offensive rebound. Taylor Smith gets the rebound for the Raiders, and here comes Nettleton to Jamari Thomas. Jamari Thomas to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram driving the paint, misses the shot, and Marion gets the rebound. 138 on the clock. Marion with an 8-4 lead. Buckingham with the ball, just to the left of the oval end. Now the ball over on the right wing. Marion with a four point lead over the Raiders here in the first quarter. Ball at the top of the key. Ball is stolen by Taylor Smith for the Raiders and here comes Nettleton. Taylor Smith loses the handle on it and Marion picks it up. That's number 13 into the game. And Jacob, you got to help me. What's number 13's name? Mikael Lewis. Lewis, Mikael. Lewis. Fouls charged against Nettleton's number four, Cordarius Thompson. First personal, six team foul. And Lewis will be taking the ball out on the far sideline as Jalen White checks into the game. He gives Kaden Nesbitt a breather. Less than a minute to play now. Marion with a four point lead. Marion with the basketball, 25 seconds on the shot clock. Nettleton will get at least one more possession in this quarter. Back up top, now they're driving the paint, the shot, it's good. Donnie cheers with a two point basket. He's got five points. Marion has a 10-4 lead. 31 seconds on the shot clock and the game clock. Taylor Smith with the ball. Pulls up just beyond the free throw line, misses the shot, Marion gets it. 20 seconds on the clock as they push the ball up the court. Now they'll pull back and I will assume play for the last second shot here in the first quarter. 10 seconds on the clock. Buckingham is gonna drive. Kicks it back out, nearly throws the ball out of bounds. Three pointer at the buzzer, it's good. It's good, a good shot there by Donnie Cheers and Marion with a 13-4 lead at the end of the first quarter. Back in 60 seconds with the second quarter, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. High School Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire and Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Hello, I'm estate planning and elder law attorney Chad Oldham. More and more often today, I hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old. Don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home cost. Be prepared. Have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. It's 13 to four, Marion with a nine point lead over Nettleton as we start the second quarter. Craig Miller and Jacob Linderman here in the NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist, healthcare for the next century. Here to tell you about the second quarter, it's Jacob Linderman. Buckingham with the ball, gets it to Lewis. Lewis to Brewer, to White. White at the top of the key. Gets it to Buckingham. Buckingham drives, floater. It's no good, rebound by Lewis. Lewis. Gets his pocket picked by Taylor Smith. He gets it to Brandon Alexander in the corner. Back to Smith. Smith attacks. His layup is good. Makes it 6-13 to 13 with 7.28 remaining here in the second. Hey, I like Brandon Alexander's look. He's got that white headband on. Headband on. He looks sharp out there. I like it. 
Buckingham, the Cheers. Cheers gets a screen by Watt. Cheers from the free throw line, it's good. This Donnie Cheers guy can play. It makes it 15-6, yep. to six, Marion with the lead. And Cheers has got 10 of those points. Smith with the ball, makes a move on Cheers, gets it to Pegram, Pegram shot fakes, he attacks, his layup goes. 15 to eight, and Marion leads cut down to seven. Lewis, that's Buckingham, gets it to White. White shot's blocked, they call a foul. A late foul is called on Deshaun Jackson. That'll send Jalen White to the line with 6.49 remaining. Marion with a seven point lead, 15 to eight. White will be shooting two here as that foul is called on Deshaun Jackson on the shot. First one is good, makes it an eight point lead, 16 to eight. The Raiders have 17 fouls so far this half. Cheers, second shot's good. Makes it 17 to eight, 640 remaining. Thomas with the ball at the oval end. He drives, he gets the ball to Pegram. Pegram shot fake, goes up. Gets the bucket, makes it 17 to 10. Jordan Pegram making some nice moves tonight, man. He's doing a good job. He's got four points for the Raiders. Cheers attacks right back with a layup of his own, makes it 19 to 10. This Cheers guy is a baller for sure. He has that dog in him. Smith gets it to Pegram down low. Pegram's fouled. Mm. He hit the ground hard there too. He gets back up quickly though with 6.17 remaining here in the second. 19 to 10, Marion with that nine point lead. Pegram's gonna be shooting two at the charity strike. Pegram's first shot goes all around the rim and in, makes it 19 to 11, 6.17 remaining here in the second quarter. Five points on the night for Jordan. He's got a, all five of them in the second quarter. Pegram's second shot is good as he walks away. Timeout Bubba Deaton, timeout Nettleton Raiders. 30 second timeout. We'll take a 30 second break with them. 6-17 remaining in the second quarter. It's Marion 19, Nettleton 12. Back in 30, more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. This is Keith Baird with Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Cause why pay more? Saving service, great selection too. We welcome you back to Raider Gym. Craig Miller and Jacob Linderman here at the NEA Baptist broadcast position. We're in the second quarter. Marion has a 19 to 12 lead with 6.17 on the clock here in the first half. Here to tell you about the action, Raider junior Jacob Linderman. Buckingham takes the ball up the court. Gets it past half court. Sets up the play for the Patriots. Six minutes remain in the second quarter. Gets it to Cheers inside the Nesbitt and jump ball. They're gonna call a jump ball. Taylor Smith gets tangled up with Nesbitt, causes a change of possession. Raiders will have the ball after Taylor Smith's good active defense. 6-0-1 remain. It's 19 to 12, Marion with the seven point margin. Smith takes the ball down the court, makes a move on Cheers, gets it to Thomas on the wing. Inside to Jordan Pegram, they're gonna call a kickball violation on Jalen White. Try to poke his foot at the ball, try to keep it away from Pegram because Pegram's going to be east inside this quarter. Just a little kick will get the violation. Inbounded to Brandon Alexander. Alexander to Thomas to Smith. Smith for three. It's good. Patriots are coming right back at him. Buckingham to Cheers. Back to Buckingham to Brewer. Back to Buckingham. The cheers, cheer shot fakes, gets it back to Buckingham, back to Brewer. 5.30 remaining in the second. With cheers on the wing, he gets it inside to White. White to Buckingham, to Brewer for three. It's good. 
Back to that seven point margin held by Marion. Five, 12, 10 remaining. Thomas at the Nettleton Oval end. Gets it to Monte. Monte, shot fakes, gets it to Thomas. Thomas for three. It's off. Rebounded by Marion and Donnie Cheers. Gets it to Buckingham. Buckingham crosses half court. Gets it to Cheers at the Raider logo on the side. Gets it inside to Nesbitt. Nesbitt gets his layup to fall. Makes it a nine point margin, 24 to 15 with 4.45 remaining. Thomas takes the ball down the court. Makes a move on Buckingham. Spin move. Gets it to B3 on the, out there. Inside to Jordan Pegram. Good pass, good assist. Jordan Pegram's layup makes it a seven point game again. Buckingham taking the ball down with 4.20 remaining. Gets it to Brewer. Back to Buckingham. The Cheers. Back to Buckingham. It's with Cheers again. Sound like a broken record, but back to Buckingham. He's picked up by Brandon Alexander. Now it's with Brewer. Cheers with it. Back to Buckingham. Buckingham goes between his legs. He shoots. It's off. Almost ran out of time on the shot clock as his shot went off the front rim. Rebounded by White, and that they call a foul. Foul called on Jordan Pegram. That's his second team foul, second personal foul, eighth team foul. 3.52 remain when the foul is called. That'll send Jalen White to the line for one and one. Marion leads by seven, 24 to 17. 3.52 remain. Watts first shot is up, it's good. Got that front end of the one and one and that gives Marion an eight point lead, 25-17. Also gives him the privilege of shooting another free throw. Unencumbered by the other team, as Jerry Clower might say. Wide second free throw is no good. Rebounded by Taylor Smith and the Raiders are gonna drive. D-Rock City back in the game. D-Rock with the ball. Back to Smith. Smith at the oval end. His pocket's picked by number 21. That's Davis. And he slows it down. Gets his offense ready. Gets it to number one. That's Wilson to Buckingham. His layup's no good. Rebounded by Wilson. Gets it to number 23. That's Garrett, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's Raider ball. Good defense there by Deshaun Jackson. Forcing that turnover. Inbounded to D-Rock City. 3.15 remain here in the half. 25 to 17, Marion with the eight point lead. Gets it to Monte. Monte stepped out of bounds. It's gonna be Marion ball. Getting the inbound is Buckingham. Buckingham is their 6'1 sophomore point guard. Makes it pass half court, gets it to Davis. Davis to Wilson. Gets it to Wide at top of the key. Gets it inside to Davis. His shot's blocked by Taylor Smith. And it goes out of bounds on Nettleton. It's gonna remain Marion Ball. 2.50 remaining here in the half. Still the eight point. Lead held by Marion, 25 to 17. Inbounded into Davis. No, that's Garrett. He gets it to Cheers. Screen set on both sides. Cheers tries to make a move on D-Rock. He attacks, step back shot. It's off the front iron. And Defensive rebounding foul called on number one, Anthony Wilson. Looks like he went over the bat. Thomas inbounds to Taylor Smith. Two minutes and 35 seconds remain. Smith calls for a screen, gets one from Deshaun Jackson, kicks it to Jackson. Jackson goes up for a layup and he gets, and good job by Anthony Wilson by drawing the charge. Number 30, Deshaun Jackson charged with a D charge call, and that's his third personal foul 
ninth team foul. Yeah, you hate to see Deshaun Jackson. He's such an important part of this team. You hate to see him get in foul trouble like that. Three fouls here in the second quarter. Wilson brings the ball down the court. Gets it to Garrett. Garrett to Cheers. Cheers to Davis. Davis to Garrett. Gets it to Wilson. Wilson to Cheers on a back door. He, he misses his layup. Rebounded by Montana. Here come your Raiders. Makes a behind the back move. Gets it to Pegram. Pegram gets it to D-Rock City. D-Rock's layup. No good, but he's fouled. It'll be at the line shooting two. That is charged on number 21, Matravius Davis. That's his first personal foul, Marion's fifth team foul. Minute 55 remaining here in the second quarter. First shot is up, it's no good. 25 to 17, the eight point lead held by Marion. D-Rock's second shot is no good. Steal the eight-point lead, rebounded by White. He gets it to Wilson. Wilson gets it to Davis. Davis gets it to Garrett, gets it to Cheers. Back to Davis, to Wilson on the corner. Gets it to Garrett, going on backdoor cut. It looks like it slipped out of his hands during the shot attempt. Goes out of bounds, it's gonna be Nettleton Ball. End of the game is Q Thompson, the all-conference receiver. Y'all may notice that we're missing Curtis Smith tonight. Curtis has unfortunately moved. He's moved to the great state of Texas, and man, we're gonna miss Curtis and on this basketball court and on the football field, no doubt about it. So best wishes to Curtis as he's in Texas. Thomas drives, gets it to D-Rock. D-Rock gets called for the travel. I guess he took one too many steps, according to the referee. Inbounded into Buckingham. Gets it to Nesbitt. Gets it to Cheers at the Raider logo. Gets it to White. White at the top of the key. Gets it inside to Cheers. Cheers makes a post move. His layup missed. He misses his stick back, too. Rebounded by D-Rock City, gets it to Taylor, gets it to Pegram. Pegram is fouled going up. The refs are conferring. I think they're trying, trying to, to, to trying to figure out who the foul was again, who the foul was on. Or now they get it. It was against yeah. Lyndall Buckingham. Pegram's first shot, no good. 52 seconds remain in the second quarter. Still 25 to 17. Pegram's second shot does not fall either. Rebounded by Taylor Smith, his layup goes. Cuts the lead down by two, 25 to 19. It's a six point game. 40 seconds remain here in the second. Buckingham gets it to Nesbitt. Nesbitt to Wilson. Gets it to White at the top of the key. Gets it to Buckingham. Buckingham gets it to Cheers. Cheers for three. It's off the back iron. Rebounded by D-Rock. D-Rock's on a drive. D-Rock with a layup. Thought he was gonna dunk, rolled it finger roll style, makes it 21 to 25 to 21 with 10 seconds remaining. Hey, two points count just the same. There's no such things as fashion points here in basketball. Marion going for the last shot. Buckingham shoots for three. It's no good as the horn expires. 25 to 21 is the final score of the half. Marion with a four point margin. And we will, we will uh, take a three-minute break, and when we come back, we will have the Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show after a three-minute break. Here at the break, it's Marion 25, Nettleton 21. Back in three minutes, more Raider basketball on the EB Sports Network.
Nettleton Raiders on Bob FM, 1013 KIYS HD2, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro, KIYS HD2, K231BB, College City, Jonesboro, KIYS HD4, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro, and KIYS HD4, K267AS, Pigot. No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy winging from Wings to Go. Tired of slow internet? Feel like you're stuck in the old days? It's time to catch up with Empower, delivered by Craighead Electric. Thanks to Empower, you don't have to wait for high-speed internet. Our new cutting-edge technology makes our services more reliable and faster than the competition. Call 870-336-0999 to check internet availability in your area. That's 870-336-0999. Empower, high-speed internet for your neck of the woods. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document Systems dealer in Jonesboro. That's right, since 1965, Forest Office Machines has provided dependable office equipment and reliable service. We follow the equipment journey through all kinds of changes and developments, always on the cutting edge, whatever that is. And our partnership with Sharp Document Systems means we offer the very latest, most dependable equipment. And Forest is the only office equipment dealer that when you need supplies, you can walk in our store and get it. And when you need it fixed, you can call us. This is Barry Forrest. My family's been taking care of equipment needs of businesses just like yours since 1965. I would love to work for you today. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document System dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932-7852. 932-7852. Call Forest Office Machines today. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, PacMail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to PacMail, and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, PacMail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services, all in one store. At PacMail, you have choices. Here's PacMail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations. And our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS Terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. PacMail. See, I told you, PacMail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. PacMail. Voted the number one printing packaging and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust PacMail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at PacMail. One leg. And we welcome you back to Nettleton High School where Raider Pride is justified. Craig Miller here for the in the NEA Baptist broadcast position, NEA Baptist Healthcare for the Next Century. And we welcome you to the Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show. Here at the half, Nettleton leads. I'm sorry, Marion leads Nettleton 25 to 21. Kavanaugh Auto Group, to see their complete inventory from the comfort of your home, log on to KavanaughCars.com. Let's recap this boys game, and then we will talk to Coach Tim Hawkins, whose Lady Raiders were victorious in the first game here earlier tonight. Uh, Nettleton... Um, Started slow here in this one. Marion outscored him 13 to 4 in the first quarter. Nettleton came back and played a lot better in the second quarter. Outscored Marion 17 to 12. But at the break, it's 25 to 21. Nettleton is led by Jordan Pegram with eight points. Taylor Smith has seven. Deshaun Jackson and D-Rock Moten both have two. As for Marion, they are led by Donnie Cheers. He has 12 points, eight of which came in the first quarter. Jalen White has six. David Brewer five. Caden Ness but two and the score at half is Marion 25 and Nettleton at 21. The first game, however, there was a whole lot of joy in Nettleton as the Lady Raiders improved to two to, to two and oh on the season by defeating Marion by the score of 34 to 31. We're joined here in the NEA Baptist broadcast position by the victorious coach, Coach Tim Hawkins. And Coach Hawkins, good win for your team tonight against a tough opponent. Yeah, I, 
I felt like coming in, they, they were definitely the most athletic team that we played, and, and they, they proved that to me. Uh, they, they may be the best team we played. I realize their record, but they played a lot of teams out of state in Texas and different teams. They played Conway, Little Rock Central, and so you can't really look at their record. I think uh, Coach Johnson prepared them for the conference and preparing them for state, and uh, I think they're a top three team in the conference. That's just my opinion. Now, it may not shake out that way, but, you know, I was really proud of how hard the, the girls played. I, I, you know, we – Again, you know, the other night we talked about defense traveled at Tech. Well, it stayed home tonight. Right. And, uh, you know, we got after we got after people. But we're, we're struggling to score a little bit. But, you know, we're going to get up and guard you and uh, and make it a dog, you know, just a dog fight, rock fight, I guess, is what they say, you know, and that's what it felt like it, to me, just rock fight. Akira James came up big for you, the senior, providing some senior leadership there in the fourth quarter where you really needed it. She scored five points. She led all scorers with nine points and was named the JOSM player of the game. Well, it was good to see Akira stepping up and leading the team. Yeah, she had a she had a college here looking at her tonight too, and she showed a lot of poise, I thought, and, and that's Akira's game. She She's going to run the show for us pretty good, and you know, if I can get her, if I can get her what she needs on the floor, she runs it for us. And uh, she hit a huge three. I know we got a bucket to tie it on a set play out of a timeout from McKenzie. And then we got at 31 there. And then Akira got that three sort of in transition before everybody set up. She pulled it from there in the top of the key and on an open look. And nobody scored after that. I don't remember how much time. It seemed like it was over two minutes when that happened or right at two minutes. Yeah, that was minute 50 something or. You know, and nobody scored the rest of the game. And it sort of got ugly at the end because they only had, what, four fouls and or three? I don't remember what it was. And they just kept having the foul. And I burned my last time out there with 21 seconds to go and to get us in a different look, you know, uh, than what we'd been in to get it inbounds. And we were struggling uh, to get it inbounds. But you do, when teams got fouls to give, they can gamble and hold. And uh, I thought a little bit of that was going on. But, you know, we hung in there and got, got what we needed. And, uh you know, it's timely to go to West Memphis on Friday night, go down there 2-0 and instead of 1-1. One and, one. and, you know, well, obviously West Memphis, you know, they beat Marion by about 15 last Friday night. So I think without a doubt West Memphis is the most talented team in the conference. But we're going to go down there and, you know, we'll give it a, we'll give it a great shot. I know we're going to guard them. I hope we can put a few more points on the board. And like I said, I hope, we, you know, and another thing, the girls pulled this game out with Carmen, you know, tweaking the knee and having to set right. out in the middle of the first quarter. Uh, you know, I thought Aubrey Butler came in and played well. I thought Kai Kai Hill came in and played well. I thought Kiki Brown came in and played well. Uh, you know, we had some kids step up, and, and, and they were coachable. Uh, you know, we, 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 were, we held ourselves accountable to do the right thing and, uh, you know, play our spots, and I thought we did a really good job of it defensively. Coach Huggins had a good plan again tonight. Uh, for how we were going to guard them defensively, and we executed that pretty good. One of the girls that stepped up for you in a big way was Kyla Williams. She had eight points, four big points in the fourth quarter. Uh, Kyla, uh, like a Kyra, providing some senior leadership yeah, for you Yeah, she tonight. did, and, and that's, that's Kyla. She'll get a tough bucket for you. Uh, she got four of them in the fourth quarter, you said. Yeah, she got two, and she's she's tough around the rim, no bigger than she's not 5'4", probably 5'5", five, five at the most, but she's got a good – Euro around the rim. She knows how to get the ball off against bigger people, and she got a huge steal in a bucket there once. I don't remember what. I mean, it's in the fourth quarter, obviously. And uh, you know, they we were down one going into the fourth quarter. I noticed. And, but anyway, it was a, it was a great win. It was a good win. It really was, good. Coach. One more girl I want to talk about. Of course, the twin towers underneath McKenzie and Donna came up big for you. But they had that inbound play with three seconds remaining. Donna Douglas with the block shot to put the game away. Yeah. Big play by Donna. Yeah, I hate it. I, you know, we talk about not leaving the floor there, having a hand in their face, and then making them go straight up, and, and us us just not leaving the floor. But she got out there and got her hand on a big one. You're right. Yeah, you're absolutely well, right. Coach Hawkins, thank you for uh, your yes, time, and we will uh, do it again Friday night at yes, West sir. Memphis. Yes, sir. Go Raiders. Yes, sir. That's Coach Tim Hawkins joining us on the Domino's excuse me, Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show. Again, to see their complete inventory from the comfort of your home, log on to KavanaughCars.com. Lady Raiders win 34 to 31. The Raiders were just about 15 seconds away from the start of the third quarter, and they trail Marion here at the break 25 to 21. So we'll get the action underway here in just a couple of seconds. Here to tell you about the action in the third quarter, it's Raider Junior, Jacob Linderman. Welcome back, folks. Ready to start the third quarter. Marion will start with the ball inbound at the Buckingham. 
Buckingham, the sophomore guard, is picked up immediately by Jamari Thomas. Get a screen by White. Buckingham drives, kicks to Cheers in the corner. Cheers three, it's good. Cheers is an outstanding player in this Marion program, makes it a seven point lead. He's got 15 of their 27 points. Thomas with the ball at the end, gets it to Jackson at the top of the key. Finds Smith at the wing. Smith's three, it's off. Out of bounds on Marion. I think it was last touch by number three going up for the rebound. Number three is David Brewer. Yeah, Brewer was battling with his own player, Kaden Nesbitt, for the rebound. Went out of bounds off of Brewer, it looked like. Nettleton went inbound under their own goal. Smith set to inbound. Slaps the ball, calls for the play. Gets it into Deshaun Jackson. It's tipped up by White. Got by Cheers. Cheers is going to drive. He's going to score easily with the layup. Makes it 30 to 21. 7 15 remain. Thomas gets the ball to the end. Picked up by Buckingham. Gets it to D Rock City on the wing. In, into Pegram, and they're going to call an offensive foul. Excuse me, a defensive foul. I thought they were going to call it the push off but they called a defensive foul on Caden Nesbitt. That's gonna be on the floor, second personal for Marion in this quarter. That foul, just like Ice J.J. Fish, is on the floor. <laughs> Into Taylor Smith, his layup is good. 30 to 23 is the score with seven minutes remaining. Bucking came with the ball on the oval end, gets it to Nesbitt, finds cheers on the wing, gets it to White. The give to the Buckingham, and he's going to drive. His shot's blocked by Deshaun Jackson, and his pass was intercepted by Cheers, and his layup's no good. Stick back missed, rebounded by D Rock City, almost out of bounds, saved by D Rock City, got by Jordan Pegram. They find Jamari Thomas. What a wild turn of events. Thomas, he's going to drive the rim. His layup's no good, rebounded by Pegram. Off of number two, Buckingham, and it's, it's going to remain Raider ball. This is wild, wild and woolly action here at Raider Gym tonight, Jacob. It sure is, and a barn burner at that. 6.20 remaining. Gets it, Thomas gets it to Pegram in the corner. To Smith for three, wide open. It's off the front iron. It's going to be Marion ball. Nobody got there. Nobody touched it. 6.13 remain, 30 to 23. Marion holds the seven point margin. Here in the third quarter. Buckingham takes the ball, gets it past half court, picked up by Thomas. Buckingham still with it, dribbling out the shot clock. 15 seconds, he gets it to cheers. Cheers shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Jordan Pegram. And he gets it to Thomas. Thomas is going to set up for a three. It's blocked by Buckingham. D Rock City with the rebound on that. He shot fakes. And Raider Faithful surprise on a no foul call as the ball goes out of bounds. I, I guess they're upset that D Rock got knocked to the floor and no foul call. Either way, it remains Raider ball with 5.32 remaining. Timeout is called. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. 5.32 remaining in the third quarter. Marion 30, Nettleton 23, back at 30 seconds. We're Raider basketball on the AB Sports Network. More with more air conditioning. Is your HVAC system ready for fall and winter? Find out today with the More Super Checkup. Prevent unexpected breakdowns while extending the life of your system. Whether you need a heating or cooling inspection, we cover it all for just $54 for 54 years serving you. Call More Air Conditioning today, a Google guaranteed HVAC company, 870-336-2023. Or visit us at moreac.com. You deserve more, don't sell for less. 5.32 remaining in the third quarter. Marion 30, Nettleton 23. Here's Jacob Linderman. Inbounded to Jordan Pegram. He makes a spin move. His reverse layup's no good. Rebounded by Buckingham. He kicks it to Cheers down the court. 
And cheer shots blocked by Smith. No, they call a foul. That is Taylor Smith's first foul of the night. First team foul of the half with 5.22 remaining here in the third quarter. Marion still with that seven point lead, 30 to 23. Cheers first shot is good. Cheers with 18 points. Over half of Marion's scores have been by Donnie Cheers. Outstanding ball player. Cheers second one is good as well. Makes it a nine point game. Inbounded into Thomas. Thomas takes it up the court. 32 to 23, Marion with that lead. Five, or five, 10 remaining in the third. Smith with it at the wing, gets it to Jackson. Jackson gets called with the charge. I think number five, Caden Nesbitt got there in time to set his feet. That's Jackson's fourth foul, and it's not good to see Deshaun Jackson in foul trouble. He's a key role in this Raider offense and defense. Yeah, and he's gonna have to come out. Uh, with four fouls with just five minutes remaining in the third quarter, he's gonna have to come out. Buckingham gets it to Cheers. Cheers gets his pocket picked by Q, and it's out of bounds on Cheers. It's gonna be Raider ball. How about that? Good defense over there by Q Thompson. Really good defensive play by the all-conference receiver, Q Thompson. D-Rock gets the inbound, gets it right back to Thomas. Thomas is gonna take it down the court. 4.45 remaining, Thomas for three. It's no good, rebounded by Buckingham. Buckingham and the Patriots are gonna attack. A very fast-paced team. Buckingham makes many crossover, gets it to Nesbitt. Nesbitt causes it to go out of bound, misses his shot attempt, and just fall off his chest. It's going to be Raider ball. 32 to 23 with 4:34 remaining here in the third quarter. Inbound into D Rock City, gets it to Thomas past half court. Gets it to Taylor Smith in the corner. Trap and he gets the ball stolen. D Rock City goes up for a block and they're going to call a foul and one as Mat Martavius Davis will go to the line. He gets hoop and the harm, makes it 34 to 23 with 415 remaining here in the third. This Marion team looks really good. Yeah, no doubt about it. One of the favorites, I would say, to win the 5A East this year. They look awfully good. Davis' and one shot is no good. Rebounded by Taylor Smith. Smith is going to take it himself. He gets it to uh, Davis, intercepts his pass, and he gets a layup. It's no good. Rebounded by number 10, that's Smith. Smith gets it to Cheers. He finds Davis on the wing, gets it to Wilson. Back to number 10, Smith, to Cheers on the sideline. They're going to call an offensive foul on Don, Don Smith. I believe it's the one, excuse me, for, to the Smith family. Good news is the Smith family is probably watching the Marion stream. They didn't hear that. <laughs> Thomas brings the ball across the court, sets up the play. Gets it to Pegram inside, off his feet, and they're gonna call a jump ball. It's gonna be Raider ball after the jump. Pegram got tangled up with Nesbitt. Good play by Pegram. Into the game is number three, David Brewer for Marion. Smith set to inbound, gets the play in, gets it to Thomas, finds Smith in the corner, gets it, looks for Pegram inside, just couldn't get away from his, the, the guy guarding him, and it's Marion Ball. Davis with it, gets it to Brewer, gets it to Cheers, gets it back to Wilson. Wilson drives, his pocket's picked by Q Thompson, finds Jamari Thomas, Jamari is going to find Smith in the corner, his corner three is good. 
34 to 26 with three minutes remaining here in the third. It's an eight point game, folks. Wilson gets it to the oval end. Finds Brewer in the wing. He's picked up by Brandon Alexander. Gets it to Cheers. Cheers is picked up by Q. Cheers shot is off the front iron, rolled around everywhere and dropped in. Good bucket by Donnie Cheers. Here come your Raiders. Thomas gets it to Smith. Smith at the top of the key. And Donnie Cheers with a really impressive dunk. Almost blocked by Taylor Smith. Yeah, it's a uh, dunk, and that was with authority. Gives them a 12-point lead over the Raiders with 2.22 remaining in the third quarter. Coach Deaton calls a timeout. We'll take it with him. 60-second break, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Mm. You love your truck. Implaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better with custom wheels, leveling kits, and the area's best selection of light truck tires, ATs, mud tires, and RTs up to 35s and bigger. Plaza Tire Service has the tires you want in stock today and will help you select a great combination that gets your truck exactly the way you want it. In Jonesboro and South Caraway, and now at our newest location on East Johnson Avenue, the biggest selection, the best service, and the lowest prices on light truck tires are at Plaza Tire Service. Yeah. When you bank at First Security, you're choosing better for yourself and fellow Arkansans. Better service from friendly professionals who really invest in your goals. Better solutions with convenient tools and smart resources. And better support for the things that matter to you, as well as the communities that matter to us all. Because finding your better at First Security makes Arkansas better too. First Security. Bank better. Member FDIC. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. 2.22 remaining in the third quarter. The Raiders down by 12. Marion 38, Nettleton 26. Jacob Linderman with a play-by-play. -play. Thomas at the oval end. Gets it to Smith. Gets it to Monte. Back to Smith. Smith for three. It's off. Rebound by Nesbitt of Marion. He gets it to Buckingham, and Buckingham's going to run the court. Gets it to Cheers on the wing. Finds Nesbitt. His layup's no good. Rebounded by Brewer and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Nelson Raiders. Buckingham set the inbound. It's 38 to 26. Marion with the lead with two minutes remaining. Some sort of violation was called. I think a foul against number 11, Donnie Cheers, it's his first personal. That's gonna be Raider ball. Smith with it on the wing. Gets it to Monte. Gets it to Thomas. It's picked off by Cheers. Cheers is gonna run the floor. And he gets fouled by Jamari Thomas. That's Thomas's second team foul. A minute 46 remaining. It's 38 to 26. Marion with that 12 point lead. Yeah. Cheers misses the first one. Back in the game is D Rock Moulton. Cheers' second shot is no good. Rebounded by nobody. It's out of bounds. Raider ball. A minute 44 remain here in the third. Timeout, Marion. 144 remaining in the third quarter. The score is Marion 38, Nettleton 26. We will take a break with Marion. We'll tell you how long the timeout is as soon as they indicate it. I believe a 30 second timeout. They have yet to indicate. They're trying to figure out how many timeouts they have left down there, I'm sure. So i tell you what, let's do. I know we'll be safe if we take a 30-second break, so that's what we'll do. Take a 30-second break, more Raider basketball action when we come back. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network, back at 30. 
you can enjoy the great taste of Japan in downtown Jonesboro. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine has all your favorites from steak and chicken to seafood and sushi. Bamboo also has house poke bowls, or you can build your own bowl. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine with hibachi, sushi, and seafood is open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner, and discounts are available for students. So stop by and dine in with us, or log on to BambooJapaneseCuisine.com and like them on Facebook. Bamboo Japanese Cuisine on the corner of Main and Huntington in downtown Jonesboro. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network, 144 to play in the third quarter. The Raiders trail by 12. It's 38-26 Marion. Here to bring the action to you here in the third quarter, it's Raider Junior, Jacob Linderman. Inbound and into Jamari Thomas. Minute 40 remaining here in the third. Gets it to Smith, cross half court. Finds D-Rock the, on the wing. D-Rock attacks, gets it to, tries to get it to Peekram, picked off by Brewer and Nesbitt, gets it to Nesbitt. Now to Buckingham, and Buckingham's going to cross half court with it. Buckingham dribbles on the oval end. Tries to set up a play. Yeah. Minute 20 remaining. Marion up by 12. you got to figure they're going to start slowing it down quite a bit here. Buckingham to Brewer. Brewer on the wing. Gets it to Wilson. Wilson at the top of the key. Finds Cheers on the other wing. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Cheers is going to do the action. He gets his pocket picked by Thomas. Thomas to Smith. Smith is going to make a play and hoop and harm. 56 seconds remaining. He gets the foul and the bucket. Makes it 38 to 28. Yeah, and Taylor Smith's family, I'll tell you right now, you need to watch the basketball highlights on Channel 8 tonight. Chris Hutchison's right down there, and he got a great shot of that. Excellent move by Taylor Smith. 56.8 seconds remain. 38 to 28. Marion's lead has slimmed. A lot of check-ins come in for Marion. Also checked in for the Nelson Raiders is Braylon King. Smith now set for his free throws. First one is up. It's no good. Rebounded by Marion to Wilson. He gets it to Lewis. Lewis crosses half court with it. Gets it back to Wilson. Gets it to Brewer. Brewer gets double team, finds Davis. Davis to Lewis. Gets it back to Brewer. Brewer attacks. Spin move. No good. Rebounded by Nesbitt. No good again. Rebounded by Nesbitt again. Finally, shot attempt by Lewis. He gets fouled with 31.2 seconds remaining. They send Lewis to the line, shooting two. Foul is charged on number three, Braylon King, his first. Fifth team foul of the half. Lewis' first one is up. It's no good. 38 to 28 is the score. 31.2 seconds remain. Third quarter action. Lewis set to shoot his second. It's up. It rolls out, rebounded by Pegram. Gets it to Smith. Smith's going to run the court. Gets it to Alexander. Gets it to D-Rock. D-Rock evades the trap. Gets it to Smith. Smith for three. No good. Lewis with the rebound, and he gets it to Brewer. Brewer picked up by Smith. Brewer gets it to Nesbitt down low, and they're going to charge. About that, Brandon Alexander. He is a very good player when it comes to drawing the charge. That's charge on Brewer, his second team foul. There's 8.4 seconds left here in the third quarter. Elton rolls it down the court, picked up by Moulton with six seconds remaining. Five seconds. Moulton drives. Finger roll layup, it's good. Makes it 38 to 30 to end the third quarter. A good ending of the third quarter thanks to D-Rock City, d Roderick Moten. Maybe the Raiders got a little momentum heading into the fourth quarter. 38 to 30, Marion with the lead back in the fourth, 60 seconds of the fourth quarter. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. 
Demo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demo's Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demo's. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demo's Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is watering. Your vehicle is a personal and important investment. At Central Collision Center, we're more than collision repair. We do everything from minor paint touch-ups and windshield replacements to framework. We're committed to customer satisfaction and provide the highest quality of service. At Central Collision Center, we provide honest and expert auto care and offer a written lifetime warranty and on-site rental car arrangements. Stop by or give us a call today to schedule your free estimate. Central Collision Center, professional, convenient, reliable. Find Central Chevrolet on Stadium and online at centralcollisionctr.com. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym, where the Marion Patriots lead Nettleton 38-30 to here at the start of the fourth quarter. Nettleton will inbound. Marion led by Donnie Cheers with 23 points. Nettleton led by Taylor Smith. The scoreboard has him for 16. I've got him for 14. We'll go with the scoreboard. Nettleton with the ball. Brandon Alexander dribbling left side, looking to get it to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith from three. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. The Patriots have it. They push it up the floor. Thought it might get a charge there. No call. And a two-point bucket by Lindell, Lindell Buckingham makes it a 10-point lead for Marion, 40-30. to 30. Here come the Raiders. Quick as a hiccup, right back down the court. Braylon King trapped in the corner, throws the ball off of the feet of David Brewer and out of bounds. So Nettleton will end bound there in the corner, right in front of Coach Bubba Deaton. Braylon King, it's good to be the king. He inbounds, gets it to Taylor Smith, the electrifying one, to Brandon Alexander. Jordan Pegram from three, it's good. Jordan Pegram with 11 points on the night. It makes it a seven point game. 40 to 33, these Raiders ain't out of it, folks. They are a fourth quarter team. And I guarantee you, they're not gonna lay down for anybody. Marion with the ball underneath the basket. They missed the shot. D-Rock City with the rebound. Here come the Raiders. Fast break to Jordan Pegram. It's good. Pegram, five points this quarter, cuts the lead to five. It's 40 to 35. Uncle Mo on the Nettleton sidelines right now. Woo, mercy daddy. Marion with the ball. Magnum, <laughs> the new age Magnum BA, Brendan Alexander. He's feeling good, Daddy. Spin move by Cheers, no good. Nettleton gets the rebound. D-Rock City to Brandon Alexander. Back to D-Rock City. Here come the Raiders. It's a steal. Ball turned back over to the Raiders. Brandon Alexander to D-Rock City. D-Roderick Moten. D-Roderick driving, trying to get it to Jordan Pegram. Throws it away, and Marion has it. Marion with the ball. Quickly back down to the other end. Loose ball, Brandon Alexander dives for it, tries to save it, slings it out of bounds. It's gonna be Marion Ball. Good hustle by Brandon Alexander, the new age Magnum BA. He's got his socks up high, he's got his headband on. He looks like he's straight out of the 1970s. It's a good look for Brandon Alexander if you ask me. 6-12 to play in this game. Marion has a 40 to 35 lead over your Nettleton Raiders. Come on Raider Nation. Get behind this team, this key Conference 5A East matchup against the double tough Marion Patriots. Marion drives, shoots, and scores. That's Lindell Buckingham, his fourth point this quarter. Gives Marion a seven point lead, 42 to 35. 5.53 on the clock as Brandon Alexander walks it up the court. Now he's across the timeline at about the nine second mark. Took his time getting there, but he got there. D-Rock City, long pass across court to Braylon King. Risky pass there. Thankfully, we got it. Back to D-Rock. D-Rock City, another long pass underneath to Deshaun Jackson. Misses the layup. Loose ball. Marion has it. Mm. Would have been nice to have that one. A heck of a pass by D-Rock City. I think Deshaun probably had a little bit too long to think about that one on his way up to the easy layup. 5-15 to play in the game. Marion's up by seven, 42 to 35. 
Taylor Smith with a near steal. Marion maintains control. They get it underneath number five. Shots blocked by D Rock City. And the foul is called. It's going to be against Marion's number five, Caden Nesbitt. Third personal foul, sixth team foul against the Patriots. And Nettleton will inbound and drive the length of the court. Brandon Alexander inbounds to D-Rock City. D-Roderick Moten, five minutes to play in the game. Raiders trail by seven, 42 to 35 the score. Pass to Deshaun. Deshaun to Brandon Alexander to Taylor Smith, top of the key. Taylor Smith's driving, spin move, loses the ball, Marion has it. Here come the Patriots, fast break. Slam dunk is blocked by D-Rock City, but they're gonna get D-Rock on the foul. That's one of them good fouls by D-Rock City as Donnie Cheers was going up for the surefire slam dunk. Brandon Alexander blocked it. And they're calling a flagrant foul on D-Rock City. DeRoderick not happy. Raider faithful, not a Raider fan in here happy. Bubba Deaton, chief among them. And after the flagrant foul, number 11, Donnie Cheer is going to have two shots. He makes the first one. Makes the score 43 to 35. Bubba Deaton in the ear of the officials here. He did not agree with that call. Donnie Cheers makes the second free throw. Cheers has got 25 points on the night and his Marion Patriots have a 44 to 35 lead. I believe it'll be Marion Ball after the flagrant foul. Looked like a good foul to the TMC. I'll tell you that, I thought D-Rock did a good job of denying the basket, was not overly aggressive with the foul. I thought it was a good basketball play by D-Rock myself, but you can take my opinion in 50 cents and buy a part of a cup of coffee. Timeout on the floor, timeout taken by the Raiders. 4.42 to play in the game, it's a nine point game. Marion with a 44 to 35 lead over the Raiders. Back in 60 seconds, more Raider basketball on the AB Sports Network. Replacing an old appliance or remodeling your whole kitchen, the appliances you need are right around the corner with GE Appliances at Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro. Shop timeless designs and time-saving features on the appliances that are built to last in the busiest homes. Visit Tucker's Appliance today and upgrade your home your way with GE Appliances and your local experts. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. Tucker's Appliance. Farmers and Merchants Bank announces the lobby of our new branch in Jonesboro is now open. The drive through is an MVP center with live video tellers 7 to 7 weekdays and 9 till noon on Saturdays. So in addition to our beautiful bank on Highland, you can also visit our new branch at the corner of Southwest Drive and Parker. More MVPs, more ATMs, more me banking at Farmers and Merchants Bank, member FDIC. And we welcome you back to Raider Gym. 4.42 to play in this game. The Raiders trail by nine. Marion with the ball. They're inbounding underneath their own goal. They get it to the top of the key to Nesbitt. To Cheers. Cheers with the bucket. He's had a heck of a game tonight, Cheers has. Nettleton now with the ball. They trail by 11. Marion 46, Nettleton 35. Magnum B.A. Brandon Anderson, the new age Magnum B.A. In the corner, Taylor Smith, three ball, no good. Out of bounds, I believe it was off of D-Rock City. I believe he was the last person to touch it. Marion's ball, 418 to play in the game. Marion with a 11 point lead with the basketball, 415 on the clock. Nettleton providing a little bit of full court pressure. They're able to get it across the timeline, and I believe they're going to whistle Taylor Smith for the foul. Second personal for Taylor. Sixth team foul. Correction, seventh team foul against Nettleton. So it'll be a one-and-one one free throw opportunity for Lindell Buckingham. Jamari Thomas checking into the game for the Raiders. Buckingham, the front end of the one and one, forthcoming. 
trying to make the Marion lead an even dozen here. It's good. 47 to 35. Marion up by a 12. Second free throw from Buckingham. He dribbles, he eyes it up, he shoots, he makes it. So it's a 48 to 35 lead now for Marion. Foul charged against David Brewer, third personal, sixth team foul. Against Marion. Nettleton inbounds, Jamari Thomas across half court, passes it to Taylor Smith. Nettleton's gonna have to play with some urgency here. They get it to Taylor. Taylor's driving, spin move, passes to D-Rock City. D-Rock City's fouled. D-Rock City will be going to the line and he will be shooting two. David Brewer, his fourth personal. That's their 17 foul, so both teams now in the bonus. Dear Roderick Moten at the line. I believe that was on the shot, so he will be getting two. The point is moot because he makes the first of the free throws, and so he will get to shoot the second. 3.57 to play in the game. Marion 48, Nettleton 36. D-Rock City eyes it up, shoots, misses off the front of the rim. Battle for the rebound, Marion gets it. Buckingham. Working against Taylor Smith across the timeline at about the six second mark. Shoots right in front of the free throw line, misses the shot and Nettleton gets the rebound. Jamari Thomas with the board for the Raiders. They get it down the court immediately. Deshaun misses, D-Rock City cleans it up. D-Rock City with the offensive rebound and the stick back makes it a 10 point game, 48 to 38. D-Rock City's seventh point of the night, 3.32 to play in the game. Nettleton calls a timeout. We'll take the timeout with them. Raiders trail by 10. Back in 60 seconds, more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. Did you know you have access to medical weight loss within the only integrated health system in Northeast Arkansas? Get a head start on your 2023 health and fitness by booking an appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Crush your goals and feel the results while saving money with the lowest cash price in town. Call 936-8000 to book your appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic and let nurse practitioner Angie Jones tailor a plan specifically for you. That's 936-8000, NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Medical weight loss you can trust. And we welcome you back to the NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist, healthcare for the next century. We're in the fourth quarter. The Patriots have a 10 point lead over the Raiders. The Patriots have the ball. They inbound, driving the length of the court. Get it across the half court. They shove Jamari Thomas in the process. They're letting a the play out there. And Marion with the ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 316 on the game clock, a 10 point lead for the team in red, the visiting Marion Patriots. Taylor Smith providing the defense against Cheers, who has had a phenomenal game for Marion. Cheers drives, shoots, misses, but it's cleaned up by Nesbitt. Nesbitt with the rebound and the stick back goal. The Marion lead back up to 12, 50 to 38 with 2.43 to play in the game. Brandon Alexander into the game. Boy, he's been a spark plug tonight. Alexander, far corner. Taylor Smith from three, it's no good. And the battle for the rebound. Nettleton gets it, D-Rock City gets the rebound, calls time out, heady play there by D-Rock. 2.34 to play in the game. Marion up 50 to 38. We'll take a timeout with the Raiders. We'll be back in 60 seconds. More Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Best savings anywhere 
at First National Bank. For a limited time only, a 13-month CD special at 4.03 annual percentage yield. You can visit fnbank.net slash specials to lock in your rate today. Also available by visiting any of our 23 locations in Arkansas and Tennessee. 13 months, 4.03 APY at First National Bank. Offer valid as of November 17, 2022. Rate subject to change. Valid at all locations. $1,000 minimum to open. Penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Get huge savings now at every Cavanaugh dealership. Cavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every make, every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Cavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to KavanaughCars.com. We're back at Raider Gym. Nettleton inbounds the ball here in the fourth quarter. Pigram misses underneath the goal. He's going to whistle for a foul. 2.30 to play in the game. Marion 50, Nettleton 38. And fouls charged against Jordan. That is Jordan's fourth personal foul. Eighth team foul. So at the line to shoot the one and one will be Marion. I believe it may be Nesbitt shooting the free throw. Caden Nesbitt, four points on the night. And he'll be shooting the one and one here, front end. On its way up, it's good. Five points on the night for Nesbitt. Second free throw forthcoming, 51 to 38 to score now. Marion with the lead. Second free throw from Nesbitt is no good. And D-Rock City with a rebound, falls down and is whistled for a travel. Getting up a little bit slowly. Let's hope that uh, D-Rock is okay. He's favoring his right knee as he jogs off. And into the game is Q Thompson. Let's hope that D-Roderick is all right. I believe he is. He may have landed a little bit wrong on his, on his knee. And we don't need another injury here tonight. Lady Raiders won, but might have been a Pyrrhic victory as Carmen McShann with a, a knee injury. Let's hope that it's nothing major. Carmen back very soon. Marion with the ball, 2.15 to play in the game. They have a 51 to 38 lead over the Raiders. 17 seconds on the shot clock, and you can bet they are in no hurry. They're gonna take the full 17 if they can. Just over two minutes to play now. Loose ball, Marion comes up with it. Nesbitt misses the layup, and the ensuing scramble. Nettleton, is, it goes out of bounds, it's gonna be uh, Nettleton ball out of bounds off of Marion. Here come the Raiders quickly across the half court line. Taylor Smith, the electrifying junior from Raiders, misses a running layup. My word, look out there. They're slinging elbows like Dusty Rhodes. And no fouls called. And foul now charged against Q Thompson for the Raiders. Second personal. Ninth team foul, so at the line will be the Patriots shooting a one and one. That's Donnie Cheers at the line. He'll be shooting the one and one. D-Rock City back into the game. That's good news, Raider Nation. Derodrick Moten back into the game. Got up a little bit gingerly just a moment ago. Cheers at the line. Boys had a big night. 27 points by my count. That's what Donnie Cheers has for the Marion Patriots. My count is unofficial. I did not win any arithmetic awards at Nettleton during the 13 years that I went to school here. So sometimes you can count on my stats, sometimes you can't. I am looking at the scoreboard and I can tell you as uh, Marion's coach, David Clark, having a talk with the official scorekeeper. I can tell you that Marion leads the game 51 to 38 with 143 to play here in the fourth quarter. The officials convening at the free throw line there with Donnie Cheers, not exactly sure what the issue is, 
But uh, now then they're they're pulling the Raiders off of the lane, and Donnie Cheers is going to shoot free throws without any Raiders line in the lane, as if it were a technical foul or a flagrant foul. Don't think that was the call. I'm confused, Jacob, as to what's going on out there. I'm uh, not too sure. They, they might have had a guy not in the books. That tends to be a technical. Well, I never did see a T. And right now the Marion coaching staff is there talking with the official right in front of the official scorekeeper. Now then they're coming down the bench to talk to Coach Bubba Deaton. I'll tell you this, I'm looking at my watch. It's 8.53. It's just about the TMC's bedtime. I'm starting to get grouchy. You have to forgive me if I snap at you here, Jacob. I probably it's... have to give you the Ric Flair chop right back. Woo! I would not like that. All right, the referee's trying to regain order out there. And now then the Raiders and the Patriots are lining the lane like a traditional free throw. Donnie Cheers at the line. This is the front end of a one and one. Cheers at 27 points on the night. A big reason why Marion leads 51 to 38. He makes the front end of the one and one. 52 to 38, 143 to play in the game. Second free throw is no good. Jordan Pigram grabs the rebound quickly. Here come the Raiders. Long pass, Jamari Thomas runs it down. He's trapped in the corner, needs some help. Bounce pass to D-Rock City to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith from three, it's good. Taylor Smith cans the three, makes the score 52 to 41, an 11 point Marion lead. Here come the Patriots. There's a less than a minute 30 to play. Nettleton providing some, uh, applying some full court pressure. Across the half courts, Donnie cheers. Now he pulls it back. 25 seconds on the shot clock. I have a feeling they're going to try to take every single one of them before they shoot. They got an 11-point lead with just about a minute to play. Playing a little four corners now are the Patriots, and Jordan Pegram has whistled for a foul over in the far corner, and that is Jordan's fifth personal foul, according to my records. Tenth team foul that will disqualify Pegram from further play, and it will give two shots to Michael Lewis. Lewis is 0 for 2 on the night from the line. Makes his first free throw. Now, I said it was Jordan's fifth foul. He's still out there. Uh, on the and actually, they're, they're saying the foul was charged, I guess, against, uh, well. Jordan hmm. only has four, according to the scoreboard. According to the scoreboard. We'll, we'll go with the scoreboard. My, my scoreboard is uno unofficial. Second free throw, no good. Here come the Raiders. Monte Cody sinks a basket, and the Raiders still fighting, even though they are down by 10 with less than a minute to play. 51 seconds on the clock, and Jamari Thomas is going to foul. Number two, Lindell Buckingham, and he's going to be going to the line. He'll be shooting two. Buckingham's first free throw. On the way, it is up and it is good. That makes the Patriot lead an 11 point lead. 54 to 43 with 51 seconds to play in the game. Buckingham's second free throw. Will be in the air momentarily. It's up and it's good. 55 to 43, up by 12 are the Patriots. And it's gonna be a basket by Jordan Pegram. Shot was blocked, but it was an obvious goaltend. And so Pegram with 15 points on the night. He's second on the Raiders in scoring tonight. Taylor Smith leads the Raiders with 19. Marion inbounds it, and Taylor Smith is going to foul. Donnie cheers. That's Taylor's third, and Nettleton's in the double bonus. So cheers will be at the line, and he'll be shooting two. 
He's got 28 points on the night. He makes both of these. He's going to have 30 points. Makes the first one, 29 points for Donnie Cheers. Second free throw is no good. No 30 points for you. 40 seconds, Do Taylor Smith, long range three, it's good. Taylor Smith makes it a 56 to 48 game. And he fouled Donnie Cheers. He fouled Donnie Cheers, thank you. I was writing down in my scorebook the three pointer by Taylor Smith. That's 22 points on the night by Taylor. Four fouls against the electrifying one. But Cheers is gonna be going to the line shooting two and he'll have the chance to get his 30 points <laughs> right here. First free throw is good. 30 points on the night for Donnie Cheers. According to the TMC and according to the scoreboard. I would trust the scoreboard. Second free throw is good. 31 points on the night for Cheers. It's 58 to 48. Marion with a 10 point lead, 30 seconds to play. Jamari Thomas misses the J. Marion gets the rebound and probably that'll just about do it. They get it across half court and Surely we won't foul. Ball goes out of bounds off the Raiders. 19 seconds to play, 19 seconds on the shot clock. They get it to inbounds to number two. And for some reason, Monte Cody does foul. First personal. Second personal. At the line is gonna be Buckingham. He'll be shooting two. 14 seconds remaining, Marion with a 10 point lead. Buckingham with the free throw makes it a 59 to 48 game. Second free throw up and good. Makes it 60 to 48. Raiders, one more possession. Taylor Smith from three is no good. Battle for the rebound goes out of bounds off of Jordan Pegram, the two-time All-State defensive lineman battling for it. It'll be Raider ball. Six seconds to play in the game, Marion up by 12. Taylor Smith from three, it's no good. Marion gets the rebound, and that'll do it, folks. 60 to 48 is the final. Marion comes in and defeats the Nettleton Raiders. They move to two and zero on the season in conference, 12 and five overall. Nettleton drops to 12 and five and one and one in conference. Tell you what, we'll take a two minute break. I'll total up some of these um, numbers here. And when we come back, we will have the Domino's Pizza post game show. Back in two minutes, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. You're listening to the Nettleton Raiders on Bob FM, 1013 KIYS HD2 Walnut Ridge Jonesboro, KIYS HD2, K231 BB College City Jonesboro, KIYS HD4 Walnut Ridge Jonesboro, and KIYS HD4, K267 AS Pigot. Nettleton High School Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town drop by gateway tire and service center and check out the great deals on toyo tires whether it's tires or auto repair you can always count on one thing at gateway tire and toyo tires we go the distance for you at gateway tire in jonesboro we go the distance for you hello i'm estate planning and elder law attorney chad oldham more and more often today i hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home cost. Be prepared. Have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized sharp document systems dealer in Jonesboro. That's right, since 1965, Forest Office Machines has provided dependable office equipment and reliable service. We follow the equipment journey through all kinds of changes and developments, always on the cutting edge, whatever that is. And our partnership with Sharp Document Systems means we offer the very latest, most dependable equipment. And Forest is the only office equipment dealer that when you need supplies, 
appliance, you can walk in our store and get it. And when you need it fixed, you can call us. This is Barry Forrest. My family's been taking care of equipment needs of businesses just like yours since 1965. I would love to work for you today. Put your daily office routine to the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized Sharp Document System dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932-7852. 932-7852. Call Forest Office Machines today. Well, the Raiders split with Marion tonight. The Lady Raiders got the win by the score of 34 to 31 in the first game. But in the nightcap, the Marion Patriots defeat Nettleton 60 to 48, split here at Nettleton. I want to welcome you to the Domino's Pizza post game show brought to you by Domino's Pizza. You can make game night even better by ordering online at dominoes.com or from the Domino's app. We appreciate Domino's Pizza sponsoring the post game show. Uh, Marion just came and took it to us tonight. He outscored us 13 to 4 in the first quarter. The second quarter, Nettleton battled back, outscored them 17 to 12. At the half, the score is 25 to 21. Nettleton outscored Marion 17 to 15 in the third quarter. And at the uh, break, at the third quarter break, it was 38 to 30. Nettleton outscored Marion 18 to 12 in the fourth quarter, but too little, too late. Marion hangs on for a 12-point lead. The JOSM player of the game is Taylor Smith. He led the Raiders with 20 points. Also for the Raiders, Jordan Pegram, 15 points. D-Rock Moten, 7 points. Monte Cody with 2 points. But your JOSM player of the game is um, Taylor, excuse me, yeah, Taylor Smith. We appreciate the good people at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine sponsoring the JOSM player of the game. JOSM, they've been getting you back in the game for more than 40 years. For uh, Marion, they were led by Donnie Cheers with 31 points. Big night for Donnie Cheers. Marion improves to 1-1 one one on the season in conference, excuse me, to 2-0 and oh in, on the season in conference. Nettleton falls to 1-1. One in conference play. We will sign off from here. I want to say a great big thanks to our producer uh, back in the EAB studios. That's Quentin Tackus. We appreciate Quentin running the wheels of steel back in the EAB studio. And we he did a great job. Thank you, Quentin. For the NTV crew here, Jacob Linderman calling color. Uh, Jerry Brooks, Scary Jerry directing the broadcast. Joseph Newhong, Antonio... Um, Almarez and Soupy, Garrett Campbell running the camera. What a great NTV crew. Lindsey Miller acting as the boss lady here, calling all the shots. I'm Craig Miller for all, everybody here at Nettleton. I'm going to let you know our next broadcast will be Friday night from West Memphis. We'll be, be coming at you probably about 5.50. The girls' game starts at 6, the guys' game to follow. West Memphis Friday night. Sure hope you can join us then. For everybody at EAB and all of us here at Nettleton, thank you for joining us tonight. Raider Pride is justified. Raider Pride forever. Presented by NEA Baptist, Domino's Pizza, Jonesboro Orthopedics,